and will be the game of the year in all of sports. Bigger than the Super Bowl, bigger than any of the Elite Eight games that we saw this weekend, bigger than anything we've seen in the NBA regular season to this point. You've got, for some, good versus evil. Who are you talking about? It can go either way, LSU and Iowa. You have brash and unapologetic against greatest scorer the sport has ever known. You have national champion against the runner-up from a year ago. You have two polar opposites. You have an on-court blood feud. You have all the storylines you could ever want. You have the names. You have the faces. You have the acumen. You have the superstar power. And this is an Elite Eight game. Elite Eight women's college basketball, LSU, Iowa. Tonight, it's the game of the year. I have not looked forward to a single sporting event that I sat in front of my television and watched in God knows how long. Probably, probably not since week 18, Dolphins, Bills. Probably not since week 18, Dolphins, Bills, as the Dolphins went for the AFC East title. And that was out of pure terror. Mm. That was out of, oh God, we have to do this. A guy was locked in on it, though. This is out of, oh, my God. There are going to be haymakers, figurative or literal, tonight. How can you not love LSU and Iowa tonight for the right to go to the Final Four? This has everything. God, I'm pumped. Is this a bit of revisionist history? Oh. Because that same Dolphins team went on to play a playoff game. Did I you wasn't looking forward to that because it was going to be cold. Okay. But you weren't going to. You were watching it from your couch. I bet I knew it was going to happen because it was cold and it was unfair okay. to the Dolphins. That's fair. That's fair. Like, this but is, this is different. This has so much juice. Uh, like, I'm telling eh. you, when you're, when, when you're looking at entertainment value, you've got, you've got Angel Reese, who is now, and I think has accepted being the villain of women's college basketball. She is unapologetically her. I, I love her. I love Angel Reese. I, despite the fact that Kim Mulkey kind of sucks as a person, I tell you what, that LSU team, I'm fully behind them because I think that you probably are running into some, I don't know, uh, racial assumptions when you talk about this LSU team, how they're brash and mm-hmm. how uh, they're they're dramatic and they'll go at one another. And I think that spills into some very uncomfortable and unnecessary conversations because of the the skin color makeup of that basketball team. Would you agree with me to an extent on that? There's some assumptions made about them that are a little bit reckless. You must be uh, subscribed to the LA Times. Yeah, well, yeah. You must have a yeah. Dirty there. debutantes. Like, um, there's no reason for that crap. It, it's funny too because it's not like it just started this year. This yeah, is just a yeah, year piggybacking off of yeah. all of the rhetoric around last year. And I mean, we see this in sports in general. You think back to, I mean, some of it had credence, but. Convicts versus Catholics yeah. uh, with the Canes versus yeah. Notre Dame back in the day. This like, absolutely this has the same parallels. Yeah. It's nothing we haven't seen before. But then you've got Angel Reese's teammate, Flo J. Johnson, who is pushing a rap single this entire NCAA tournament run while dominating on the floor. How yeah. can you not love that? Like, yeah. I, I think that that's hilarious and it's awesome. And if you Google her name, if you Google her name right now, Stone, it does not say college basketball player. It says rapper. I, I, I absolutely, she's willed that into yeah. existence, which is amazing. That's her, wick, if you Google her, it says, Flo Day Johnson, rapper. Like, that's yeah. so good. And then you've got Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, who is this dazzling example of what's right in college athletics, came from the cornfields of Iowa, decided to spurn bigger programs to stay home and build Iowa into something. Uh, Last year, she uh, dragged Iowa on this magical run through the tournament. She gets buckets in any way, shape, or form, and then she ran in to the villains in Baton Rouge Mm. who taunted her and mocked her and trash-talked her in a national championship game loss. This is her chance to get her revenge. This is vengeance time for Caitlin Clark. This has all of the storylines of a damn movie. Yeah. 
Oh, and, and it's happening in the Elite Eight. And if you can't get into this, I don't care your stance on women's basketball. If you can't get into this and the meat and the drama that's involved in this, then you probably don't like sports. Another part about this is between these two teams is like it's also, you know, you talked about Caitlin Clark and her, her whole backstory and whatnot. And one of the biggest things that gets left out of this is just exciting to watch play the game of basketball. Um Maybe one of the most prolific scorers in college basketball history on the women's side. Uh, on the other side for for LSU, I mean, we didn't even mention Haley Van Lith, like who a, was a tournament well, darling last and this year. This is as the well. thing; they're like a veritable dream team. Yeah, they're like yeah. the big. They're they're the 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 closest thing to a big three, except there's more than three of them yeah. on that team because of the transfer portal. They're the biggest collection of talent we may have seen in any sport, anywhere, what this LSU women's team has based on their sport. Yeah, and I know it's a pick but technically, you know, Iowa's the one seed, right? Like, Iowa's coming in the one seed. LSU had to get a quote-unquote upset to get to this uh, this matchup. So um, it has a, all the makings of something that you got to kind of tune into, and, and maybe nothing defines that more than the fact that uh, at 10 a.m. this morning when you tapped on the first take, first thing out of the gates, is this a legacy game for Caitlin Clark in Iowa? I, like, I, I just... How can you not love this or feel anticipatory about this? And and Stone, uh, you know, in college athletics, uh, it's going to be rare. We may never again I, I, in men's college basketball get a late tournament rematch with same cast of characters that went at each other, star power that went at each other one season prior. I don't think that's possible in men's college basketball anymore. I don't think so either. Uh, good job by the committee. Setting this up, knowing both teams were going to get to this spot, I think that was known. We didn't talk about it. We probably should. I wish have been they weren't put in the it. same region. Yeah, no, I, I that's get a that. little annoying. I do want to put you on the spot though, Ken. You said this is going to be a movie. That's a guarantee. This is a documentary in the making. Yeah. What's the title? <laughs> Again. <laughs> I got to be careful here. <laughs> yeah, I was about yeah. to say. This one's you might tough. not want to go yeah. off the top of the dome yeah, for this yeah, one. This, yeah, this I, might, is... I might want to workshop this yeah. a little bit because we saw what uh, what the LA Times <laughs> went through with Dirty Debutant, and I think that guy thought he was doing something. Yeah. Uh, the problem with that, him calling LSU Dirty Debutant, uh, one, there's probably a little racial element to it, but two, it is, as Kim Mulkey correctly put it, and I'm about to give Kim Mulkey a lot of credit, unbelievably sexist because I want you to google dirty debutante right now and see some of the websites that come up i promise you you couldn't open any of them in front of your kids okay so that was a, a big freaky. whiff a by the la times there so you know what let me workshop that one roger that because uh again it's eight minutes into the show right. and i think last week i want to do it uh you and me both went through early canceling on this show i prefer to go more than 15 minutes without a cancel no, I hear you. Show Loud and week. clear. Nonetheless, this thing is going to be made into a documentary. I'm so excited for it. I do think it has all the makings of a movie. And, and lastly, if the audience out there needs a reason to tune into the YouTube today, the camera on Theo real quick. Look at him in the shirt. I mean, look at yeah. the shirt. Those biceps, yeah. dude. He's you know, got the veins and everything. Oh, baby. I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's been, been like a week. Really very week seldom does yeah. somebody's t-shirt get caught on the biceps yeah that's a he looks rough on, and tough i love that i didn't even on, notice that until you pointed that out you, uh, youtube espn west palm play look yeah. at those biceps i couldn't get my eyes i mean off. stone look at that right bicep that vein right, is popping come on man Ooh. <laughs> man come on man this is a big Ken day ain't the only one that work out this is you a know big, what i'm saying big day right i don't here. i don't work out why oh, I'm, 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 I don't know. Don't work, Seth. Don't play football, man. Yeah, like I was about to say, <laughs> you're the, you, you play the sports. It's the Stairmaster every single morning. For real? And I get my flies and my upper how long, body. How long do you? How I long usually do, you... do 15, 20 when I get in there. And then I'll do you upper body and I get out. Oh, okay. I got you. Oh, I got yeah. you. I understand. I understand. And what, yeah. your, uh, your complex has a, like a gym area? Yeah. Cool. That works. Easy money. I, I, like, I, like, I like a Stairmaster move. Um. So, so scale of one to 10, how must watch is tonight's LSU-Iowa game for you? And I'm telling you, I have not looked forward to a game this calendar year like I'm looking forward to this one. Like, obviously, FAU doesn't count. But also, like, I'm trying to think nationwide, too. Like, as much as I cared about FAU and Memphis, there aren't many people nationwide that's putting FAU Memphis, their anticipation for that, up against LSU no, Iowa. No, okay? Like, no so I, I'm fully cognizant of that. Fully cognizant of that. I have not looked forward to watching a game in the comfort of my own home more this year. That includes the Super Bowl than this because this one feels nasty. This one feels like it could spiral out of control. And yeah. I think there's respect between these two teams off the floor. But I also know on the court, there's a hatred there. Yeah. And I absolutely, unadulteratedly 
love that. This is a national championship game potentially being played in an Elite Eight. Mm. And if you think this is sick, one of these teams against South Carolina, I mean, come on, man. Especially if it's LSU again, where they got in a, a, a full-fledged yeah, fight yeah. the last time they played. Like, I'd be rooting for LSU if you want more juicy stuff here. Because let's be yeah. honest, it was mostly chalk on the men's side of this entire thing, okay? And chalk means the name of the school and not necessarily the personnel, which I think cuts the legs out from under it. I'm much less interested in this Final Four run, even with DJ Burns being oh, no. awesome for NC State. Last year's Final Four... A lot more intriguing in my mind. Sorry. Oh, that doesn't count. Sorry. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, oh, no, my God. no, 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 no. I have to pump the brakes on that. Sorry. I'll pump the brakes too. Go Even ahead. Even as a guy that, you know, I love, much love the FAU and that run was magical. And, of course, it's more of a Cinderella story than NC State making it. This year's Final Four on the men's side, too. Yeah, I could do without it. UConn, UConn <laughs> trying to be the first back-to-back champ since 07 going care. up against a feisty Bama team. And Perfect. then you got There's NC no- State. You got – Eighty versus. I know. Burn. I know more. The the poster boy for UConn basketball is still to me Khalid Alamine, as opposed to any of these guys on this UConn team. Sorry, talk- not in this era. Who cares I don't know, man. Who's on, they're so good, you don't even know who's on the team. Like they're on the most historic run that we've ever seen in college. And basketball. doesn't that tell you a little bit about the movement in college basketball? No. That that's a problem a little bit. That means Dan Hurley knows how to coach yeah. a freaking basketball team. Fine, great. I don't need Dan Hurley. To be the face of that entire thing, well, I don't I do. care. He's it's fun to watch. And he's such a, sometimes. He's so he's such a stud. Thing, and Purdue he's finally so got the monkey off their back. I, Welcome I to don't the final four, Purdue. Oh, I've got no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's talk Purdue later in the show <laughs> because I've got some, I've got some observations about Zach Eady and Purdue's run right here. Because Zach Eady getting a little too cocky and confident for somebody who was nothing but a face plant failure up until yesterday. All right, so we'll get to that yeah. later on in the show as well okay but as far as because this is going to take away from caitlin clark against angel reese Uh uh-uh i'm not falling into your men's college basketball uh subservant final four compared to what the women have potentially i ain't falling into that trap Uh -uh. uh-uh nah i don't care about matt painter i don't care about the boilermakers nobody can name (laughs) one other player not zach edie on that purdue roster lance jones no stop it stop it former saluki stop it that's not even fair. That Stop doesn't count. It. What? Uh, He's a starting scale point of guard. one to ten. Who no, but cares? You can't name a former Saluki. Scale was a of former one to Hampton ten. Pirate. I would know him. Hey, a- Angel Reese started at LSU, remains at LSU. There, I don't care about any transfer <laughs> Salukis. Scale of one to ten. How must watch is tonight's LSU Iowa game for you? I'm giving that damn thing a twelve. Wow. This is the best piece of sports cinema that we've seen this year and we're going to see this year, in my opinion, because it has all the buzz, all the juice, all the things you need to satiate your sports needs. 888-760-3776. 888-760-3776. Social media at KLV1063. That's 888-760-3776. Scale of 1 to 10, how must watch is tonight's LSU-Iowa game for you? I'm off the charts. I'm at a 12 on this. Is This is coming off Mm. of in Elite Eight where NC State beat Duke. I can't tell you how excited I am for tonight. So you're asking me scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, this is you. Your personal 1 through 10. How can you be the one to to kind of put it out there, scale of 1 to 10, and you go 12? All right, fine, 10. Okay. Fine, is that good enough? I was just trying to make a point. I I get the point you were making, but since when did we go to – because usually it's like 11, like 110%. You usually go about, you know, an increment of about 10 or point Boy, one over. This is how it's going to be. This was weird. Week, huh? This what? is how it's going to be from 12 both of you. 12 is just week. weird. That's all I'm saying. Okay, fine. T- 10. Thank you. 10. Thank because you. if I go 11, they're like, oh, man, but does he really care a ton <laughs> about it? So I got to go 12. <laughs> I got to really drive from the point, man. 11 just ain't cutting it in that spot if I'm trying to emphasize. <laughs> 12 is what really brings the, just, the power. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because you went two over. Like, it's yeah, like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Two over. I mean, it, that's mind-blowing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got to go with a 10. Um, the last two, the last time these two faced off, it was what ten million watching in the national championship game. Uh, the vitriol, uh, the hate, and and really much of the vitriol and the hate comes from the outside, not even just within the teams playing well, the on the court. Outside directed like, towards LSU. Yeah, yeah. There's there's uh, mostly directed towards LSU. Yes, and then there's a defense of LSU that sometimes can be perceived as hate towards Iowa, but it's a lot of just back and forth. And I think. Because of all the discourse and because that's what sells today, right? Like divisiveness sells, uh, racism sells in America. 
Like, this is going to be must-watch TV for anybody that's going to be around the house or at on their couch at 7 p.m. and uh, able to lock in. Sadly, though I'm rating it a 10, I have to have an honest moment with you guys right now. He's doing something again. Just like this weekend, he set aside time for himself to watch it's something. It's a 10. It's a must-watch. I'm excited. Oh, oh, he's going to tell us he's not going to watch it. He's going to tell us he's it. not watching. In a true Theo Dorsey uh, yeah, turn oh of events. My God. Just go ahead. Rip the bandit off. I, I won't be able to watch it. Not live. I won't be able to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. But it is a must watch. And if I was available and free, I'd be watching it live and with you. He can't go a 10. It is a 10. If it's a 10, why are you not watching? Right. Because you can't give it a 10. And because 10 you would, know why I'm not 10 would mean that what? you set aside the time. No, no, no. Correct. I bet his in laws are in town. No, no. They Who are cares? in town. They the should be watching the game, too. They'll be watching it. They'll be watching. But what about you? Well, there's a Dwyer lacrosse game tonight that we're going to be covering for ESPN West Palm play. Um, and there's a young lady on the Dwyer team mm-hmm. that is going to try and join the 100 Gold Club tonight. So for ESPN West Palm play, which you can subscribe on YouTube, yep. subscribe on YouTube. This is a must watch, right? This championship, this Elite Eight game, excuse me, is a 10 out of 10 must watch for me. But there must be something superseding that for me to miss it. And it's Dwyer lacrosse. So tap in ESPN West Palm Play on YouTube. You can catch that story. And I'll catch the highlights of right, so, Iowa LSU. No, no, here's what I here's here's the <laughs> Holy thing. If this please. really was saying. a 10, if this really was a 10, and I understand you having to work, and that's perfectly acceptable. And congratulations. She's she if she scores tonight, she's yeah. in the 100 goals. She's four. Club. She's four goals. And apparently it's like oh, a Oh, is showing. that a thing that can happen? I think so. That's, oh, I mean, okay. that's the way that the, the Hopefully, the coaches I'm sending you out there uh, and you missing uh Iowa LSU. She better score, she better she score four, four goals better tonight. Score like hey, hey, Dwyer Where? Lacrosse, you better she better score four goals tonight. Where are the interns at? Um, let me see. I want to get a yeah, big shout. Her name's Kelly. Shout right, out Kelly. Kelly. Four, please. We need four plus. Please. Kelly has nothing uh, but, on Caitlin Clark if it, or Angel <laughs> Reese. If it really is a 10, what Theo does is avoid the phone, avoid the updates. Then he goes home, yeah. sits down, and catches it in full if you're truly a 10. So Try I would say Theo's everything. probably more like an 8. He has to be an 8 by default. By default. Nah, just by it, the rules of this. In, in, actuality, rules. Rules. in actuality, I'm most likely going to catch it like second half on. So that's still, I'm going right, to get right, most right, of the good stuff. Okay, yeah. if you make it a, a point to catch second yeah. half the on, lacrosse game then you can give six. it a 10. The lacrosse oh, game starts at 6 fine. at Dwyer. Right, I'll have to get right, post game right. and whatnot. Right. I'll probably get home by about 8. But this is where he always goes to the default of, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because this weekend, what did he do Friday? He goes, I I cannot wait. For Illinois and UConn, cannot wait. Yeah. Sunday, 6.15. Yeah. Yeah. And so the time that he set aside, guess what wasn't Sunday at 6.15? <laughs> Illinois and UConn. They played Saturday at 6.15. And I missed it. And you missed I was it. on that boat. But, hey, just like I was on that boat, UConn boat raced them boys, just like and, I told uh, you. 30-0 run. Yeah. Holy Lord. Yeah. Uh, one to that, ten. What, it's fine. I mean, I did make a bold proclamation <laughs> that Illinois <laughs> oh. was going to beat UConn. We don't have Everything to Everything looked good with 90 seconds left to go until halftime. Uh, and then – uh, 55 real minutes yeah. later in Illinois scoring for the first time in that span. Those dreams were dead. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, how must watch is tonight's LSU-Iowa game for you? I give it a 10. I said 12 originally, but Theo's right. I can't just put numbers outside of the 10 <laughs> round, but I was just trying to make a point. Theo says 10. Uh, 10 because he's going to make it a point to catch the second half. Yeah, Acceptable. Second half, for sure. 888-760-3776. 3776 Social media at KLV1063. And I, me, I have not looked forward to watching anything in sports from my couch, I think, since Dolphins-Bills week 18 of the season. I think Dolphins-Bills week 18 of the season is the last time I have, I've felt so, so in to something. Yeah. Jacked, man. Uh, Let's go to Mark. Where is Mark Stone? Mark's in West Palm Beach. Mark is in West Palm on LaVica, Theo, and Stone. Hi, Mark. Hey, Ken. Hey, uh, I rated a 10 for tonight, but uh, I wanted to uh, let you know Angel restarted out at the University of Maryland. I she did start so. at Maryland. You're right. You're totally right. And, Mark, I deserve that. <laughs> I'm buzz me, 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 me. So what you need to do is forget everything that I said trying to make that point to Theo. Uh, it was making about it to transfers. Stone. Oh, I was making yeah. it to Stone. Mark, that is a great call. She good. absolutely started at Maryland and is now at, at LSU. <laughs> so, Mark. Well done. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And I deserved that. And that's how we're starting on a Monday. This is like three shows in a row for you, I think. I'm telling you. What man. a loser move that is. Just to fling that out there. What? I mean, you know what? Angel Reese, LSU. Okay. Still at LSU. All right, no, I, I understand. He did, man. He caught you. That's exactly what you said. But but this is what I appreciate. <laughs> this is what I appreciate <laughs> about our audience. 
at noon every day is that they have no problem in the middle of a work day picking up the phone and saying, For real? hey, Ken, Appreciate uh, that ain't it. Yeah. And God's honest truth, I think that sets some of the people that listen to us apart from some, some other shows. Yeah. Because while I may be uh, on edge all the time and, and uh, really loud and obnoxious and I don't want to deal with this guy, you people still call and correct me. And I love that. Mm. So thank you, Mark. To be honest, though, shame on me and Theo. That you, you didn't jump anything. on that. Because yeah. yeah. also there's the video that's been going re-viral again of her in the Maryland uniform talking trash to this, to a player. Like, it's, it's right, been so, no, you know, know, it's kind of weird. Know. But even when you said I it, I was like, damn, did I she know. start at LSU? And I, I didn't know. think about Same. it. It's on me. Uh, real quick, in the, the YouTube live stream, why is the chat disabled? Uh, I'll go on. I'll go able it. Oh, I just didn't know if there was like a new edict from above. No, I didn't know. Oh, it was just a mistake there. I just, I know, it's fine. Uh, Joe and Jupiter, is this where we're going, Stone? Joe Joe. and Jupiter here on Levick at Theo and Stone. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys. Happy Monday, everyone, first of all. Thanks for taking the call. Yep. We're all being honest here, right, Ken? So I've been been contemplating Uh this topic since you started today. And if, you know, you know, as we all know, yesterday was Easter Sunday. And if, if you'd have had this show on Friday... I did say some prayers at church yesterday, and I think if you'd have had it on Friday, I think one of my last one would have been, "Why cannot be? Why can I not be more into this story before I tell you my scale of one okay. to ten?" Okay, okay, and that's Parker, totally fine. Amazing, yeah, it's an amazing story. I, I, I get everything that you're saying. You know, you can't you can't doubt my huge sports. I'm one of the biggest sports fans. I'm not saying that you know you know a lot of sports fans, but you can't doubt how big of a sports fan I am all around, not just my own teams. I I really have to. I'm not sure if I'm going to watch one second, honestly, I, and, I, and I don't know why. I, I just don't know why. There's nothing against. I appreciate everything that's going on, but you know, you got the Rangers in Tampa. I can't miss. A <laughs> I knew it. You know, honestly. That's why. I, that's why. I, I, You're a Dallas that's guy. There's no yeah. Dallas love in it. So well, Joe- I mean, yeah, that yeah, and. Uh, I'm just being honest here. I mean, you want the truth, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah. So, what's your number on one to ten? What would you give the number while you're uh, so 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 you picking Rangers and Rays over uh, over LSU Iowa? Uh, what's your number then? One through ten. Must watch ability. Uh, for myself, it's it's probably a two. A two. Honestly, because I'm two. not going to watch any of it. Right. I'm not saying for the nation. I'm saying for me personally. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. If I'm that, not going to watch this. I'm just trying to get a gauge on it. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a gauge on it. Is it just because? Hey, so, so let me ask you this, just out of curiosity. Yes, sir. Um, the final mm-hmm. four games next Saturday, one through ten, based on who you know is in it now. Where would you? Where would you put those watch abilities? Uh, the men's final four or women's final four. Men's final four. Yeah, good call. Men's final four. I'm definitely going to watch because. UConn is one of the best teams we've ever seen. I'm going to watch the championship game for sure. And, you know, especially when, Gr- when Greeny said <laughs> mistakenly, he was joking that they could actually make the playoffs in the NBA. That's how good they are. He was kidding, of course, but he got a lot of slack for that. I'm sure you all yeah, heard. Yeah, he, he definitely they're not that did. good. That- that would never happen. So, but anyways, I, I, they're just a team, a generation. Go ahead. And it's okay, Joe. Like to it's it's. I promise yeah, it's, that we're in a judge-free yeah, zone here. I appreciate the call, Joe. It's okay to say. Women's college basketball doesn't do it for yeah. you. Like, right? Like we can all we can all admit like 100%. it's okay for us to for, for someone to say this isn't for me, right? I mean, absolutely. More often than not. Yeah. It's that's the case. Hard to watch. It's not. But I mean, from a shot whatever. I get it. I agree with pe- nah, people people who, who who have that go. take. <laughs> Here we go. Well, the theater. It took twenty five minutes. Yeah, I was about to say. The no, it's who's no, it's still, we know what you're talking for, about. Yeah, we for, know what you're talking for, yeah. about. It makes a lot of – first of all, people aren't even watching NBA regular season games, let alone basketball in general as much these days. So, yeah. like, yes, it, I get it if somebody doesn't like women's college I just – I'm a person – and it all depends what you're looking for. Yeah. I love storylines. <laughs> so I love – yeah, you see Stone? <laughs> I like shot making. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Um, I, I love storylines, and I love <laughs> running it back, and I love rivalry. Yes. And tense ones, not tense ones, yes. not like Bears Packers where it's just, hey, we've been playing this for a hundred years. No, ones that have juice. Yeah. This has juice, man. Like this is full of it. 
It I also, love it. It also has star power, too. Hell like It's yeah. not just two teams that hate each other. It's, it's some of the best players on the planet in women's basketball. So, like, yeah. but if you, again, if you don't like women's basketball, nobody's but forcing you to go watch it either if what, that's not your thing. What I would say is, is college basketball fans have been complaining, though, for years about, oh, there's no familiar faces. I've heard it a lot this year. Oh, Zion. There's no Zion. There's right. no superstar. Well, just look on the other side at the women because they got everything you're looking for right there. Yeah. So I would advise you, if you're underwhelmed by the state of men's college basketball, you know what the antidote is? Just look at the women's side, because that's what's happening tonight Yeah, with LSU and Iowa. I'm giving it a straight-up 10. Could be 12 if Theo allowed me. Scale of 1 to 10, how must watch is tonight's LSU-Iowa game? 888-760-3776. 888-760-3776. Social media at KLV1063. And it's okay to say, I'm not into it. We're literally doing this because I'm trying to get a gauge. Yeah. I'm trying to get a gauge on something because the TV numbers could be north of 10 million yeah which would be absolutely insane but i'm just trying to get a gauge here because it's an elite eight game as well which i think changes this a little bit right no trophies being handed right. up right scale of one to ten how must watch is tonight's lsu iowa game for you 888-760-3776 and social media at klv1063 we are streaming live on youtube that's theo that's stone i'm ken levick at theo and stone espn 1063 Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. This is ESPN 1063. The Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, an affiliate of the Palm Beach Health Network, is committed to delivering high-quality care to the communities they serve. Their award-winning physicians and specialists provide a level of expertise that has resulted in regional firsts and outstanding patient outcomes. For a physician referral, call 866-654-2362. To learn more about the Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, visit pbhnphysiciangroup.com, pbhnphysiciangroup.com to get in touch with the Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group. Time now for a PNC pause. PNC Bank is committed to helping the customers and the communities they serve move forward financially. See how they can make a difference for you at PNC.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Now, let's check the Bradley Heating and Air Weather Center. Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning, keeping the Palm Beaches cool since 1980. Visit them today at BradleyAir.com. Waking up to really nice and dry conditions out there. Temperatures are in the 60s this morning, then heating up to high of 82 degrees. That's right on average for this time of year. So comfortable conditions with a mix of sun and clouds. Also, rain chance staying very low for today, so it will remain a dry day. As we go into tonight, we'll have a few clouds around. Tonight's lows dropping into the upper 60s. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa on ESPN 106.3. What's up, Heat fans? This is Jason Jackson from your Miami Heat audio experience. From every earth-shattering dunk. Throw it down! To every three ball from the land of milk and honey. For three! Splash! And everything in between. It's Skyhook and he called it! ESPN West Palm has you covered. Make sure you are always locked in with your favorite station to catch every single Heat game with me and the gang. It's time to ball, yo. You're listening to ESPN 1063, presented by Rubenstein Law. 1 800 FL Legal. Car accident, truck accident, Uber or Lyft accident, or slip and fall? Call Rubenstein Law. Call 1 800 FL Legal and visit one of our offices throughout Florida. 
Any business that wants to get to the top and stay there requires a dedicated team to implement a winning game plan. Eisner Ampers seasoned professionals provide business advisory and consulting services such as audit, accounting, tax, HR, outsourcing, and more. Eisner Amper business advisors help clients transform their companies, build capital, innovate processes, and mitigate risk. For industry-specific strategies that meet your needs in South Florida, make Eisner Amper part of your solution. Visit EisnerAmper.com solution. Now offering 4.9% for the coolest SUV on the road, the all-new Land Rover Defender. Iconic looks and endless possibilities. Enjoy 4.9% for up to 60 months on all 110 and 130 Defender models in stock at Land Rover Palm Beach. Select Land Rover Defender 110 and 130 models eligible for financing at the APR for well-qualified buyers. Supplies are limited. Taxes, title, license, and fees excluded. Residency restrictions apply. Customers must take new vehicle delivery from retailer stock. Model picture may vary from offer. See Land Rover Palm Beach for more details. Celebrate 40 years under the sun at Sunfest, May 3rd through the 5th. West Palm Beach's number one music festival welcomes Third Eye Blind, Billy Idol, Dashboard Confessional, The Fix, Boys Like Girls, and more. Sunfest 2024 is a weekend packed with music, art, food, drinks, and breathtaking views. Sunfest. It's more than music. May 3rd through the 5th. Tickets on sale at sunfest.com. Sponsored in part by Good Greek Moving and Storage. Hey, it's Josh Cohen. When you are in need of any kind of auto repair, honesty and reliability are everything. Trust the home for honest, reliable service, St. Lucie Battery and Tire. Just like the name St. Lucie Battery and Tire has all tire and battery brands in stock for cars, trucks, RV, marine, power sport, even golf carts. Major and minor service repairs, free tire pressure, and free battery checks. St. Lucie Battery and Tire. Over 50 years in our community. 17 full-service locations all the way from West Palm Beach to the Treasure Coast. Check them out at slbt.com. That's slbt.com. Are you one of those people that just can't focus at home? The dog barks, the kids are screaming, and you're thinking, how am I going to get all of this work done? Working from home can be distracting, but Intelligent Office is here to help you focus. They offer quiet and affordable private office and meeting spaces in Palm Beach Gardens to help you get your work done. Call 561-472-8400 or visit intelligentoffice.com to reserve an office today. have a coach that yesterday she told us like be you and like she's had like a 30 minute speech but the only thing that I really heard was like be you you know what I mean like that's the only thing that I heard because it really struck me in my heart that you know as long as I produce on the court she want me to be who I am you know what I'm saying and as individuals I think you kind of need that confidence from your coach like coach said like I don't care if you're an astronaut as long as you land on the moon and come back before 1 30 practice do what you want to do <laughs> you know what I'm saying from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. It's LaVica, Theo, and Stone, presented by Hard Rock Bet, Florida's official sports book on ESPN 1063. That's Flo J. Johnson. Again, if you look her up on Google, if you Google the name, the outstanding LSU guard, it doesn't say college basketball player, it says rapper. Yeah. She has willed her rap career into existence during the NCAA tournament. I, to me, I, how can you not love that? That's I, smart. I love this LSU women's basketball team. Love them, love them, love them. Because there is nothing fake about them. The drama. Mm-hmm. Angel Reese being suspended this year because of an alleged uh, issue with a teammate or a teammate's family member. There's nothing fake about this. Kim Mulkey being a hard-nosed, ragged-edged <laughs> dirtbag. <laughs> there is nothing fake about that. Angel yeah. Reese, she'll be friends with you off the floor, but on the floor, she accepts being the villain. Unapologetically, her, yeah, I'm going to trash talk you. So much or trash. Or an assistant coach got lippy with me as I after I fouled out the, uh, against UCLA. She's going to hear about it, that assistant coach, yeah. as I walk off the floor. Like, How can you not love that? I love it. Can't turn it, it off. Love and, it. and also, you know what? We 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 just were talking on Friday, I believe, about like the things that make Draymond Green elite, that make him great, are sometimes the same things that are working towards his detriment. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the thing that gets lost in a lot of this Angel Reese discourse is like she's doing this stuff and she's pumping herself up and firing her teammates up and stuff. Like, it hasn't been really to the detriment of LSU. Without the punching and the scratching and yeah. the pulling and the yanking. I, 
And the kicking. There's levels to how you can execute it. And it still is going to get ridiculed and it's going to have a microscope on it just because of how, generally speaking, America views, I mean, let's just say it, black women. Well, first Acting women, in a certain way. and then black women. Exactly. So it's like There's you got two, two different things levels going for this. you here. Yeah. Right. You're right. not just a woman. You're a black woman, and right. you're doing it in a sport where it's like also a lot of a lot of media that's covering it. Like mm-hmm. I'm sure the L.A. Times columnist isn't even just used to covering college basketball for women. So what are they going to pull to? Uh, and, and we'll get Any to that kind of columnist. Pro- okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll yeah. get to that columnist because I do want to give the actual like excerpt. Yeah, that has put uh, the L.A. Times in the crosshairs. We went from Kim Mulkey. Oh, my God. What is this Washington Post piece going to be? Wasn't a whole lot. And then the L.A. Times said, ah, move over. Yeah, We're going to do something so. mindlessly stupid and make Kim Mulkey look good. And then that's exactly how it worked out yeah. this weekend. Let him cook. Oh, God. Uh, you experiencing foot and ankle pain? Need to see an expert in the field? Baptist South Orthopedic Care is a team of foot and ankle orthopedic surgeons and specialists who are regarded as leaders in their specialty. Visit baptishealth.net slash ortho to learn more today. Baptist South Orthopedic Care combines its resources of experienced physicians, leading edge treatments, and technology to provide advanced orthopedic foot and ankle. Join Replacement spine and sports medicine care. Visit baptishealth.net slash ortho for more information today. Baptist Health Orthopedic Care has offices conveniently located in Palm Beach County through the Florida Keys. Learn more by visiting baptishealth.net slash ortho. Ed messages in my chances of watching LSU Iowa win, women's college basketball elite eight is zero. A flat out zero in that spot. So he hates women. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> we love you, Ed. Uh, so, again, that's fine. It ain't for everybody. But what else? My question is, what the hell else is on television? Like, Joe Joe called and he said, I'm not into it. I got the Rangers on tonight. All right, well, also, Joe, there's 158 other games left to go this season. But I get when you're in a title defense, you feel something, you feel like you can't miss a game, yeah. uh, whatever. Uh, but, like, what, what the hell else are you watching tonight? Game four of a 162-game season? Puck drop, 7 p.m. Panthers, Toronto Maple Leafs, the flying death machine. Okay. They take the ice on the road. That would be what other people around here are watching. There are options, I guess, but I I do think that even that, it doesn't have the same gravitas. No, it doesn't, but there's there's an answer. The primary would be basketball, would be Iowa LSU, and then to flip to in a break is the flying death machine, the Panthers and the Maple Leafs. That's going to be my course of action tonight. It's not like I'm going to watch through the commercials and the halftime show. Though, can I say something real quick, speaking of halftime Uh show studio? Talk about it. Talk about it. Andrea Carter for ESPN, they are now top college basketball analyst, women's college basketball analyst. If you've seen her, if you've consumed her, if you've watched her do her thing, you're seeing the biggest rising star in all of sports media. Mm -hmm. Andrea Carter is, for my money, a top five analyst, any sport, anywhere, any network. Andrea Carter, conviction, strength in her speaking, outstanding points, backs up what she says, and... She knows what the hell she's talking about. Andrea Carter is a superstar, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, you should watch tonight just to see Andrea Carter do her thing. Yeah. God, is she good. Someone who cares God about the craft. She yeah. Jesus. All right, her, so I remember anyway. when she first debuted like on the big, big national scene was like last year's NBA draft is when people saw her and was like, yeah. who the hell is this out right. here? Because she was over there and running I, pick and rolls and stuff on right, the stage. Yeah. Right, and And I remember thinking... Huh, this is kind of an it was almost like they were kind of like forcing her into that Injected role her into it. because nobody really knew anything of her and then there she was but yeah. now I, and the way she's improved I I'm telling you she is an absolute star like that an absolute yeah. star Christian on YouTube says Monday night raw something else we'll be watching So I I road to WrestleMania So this is where this is why this wouldn't get 10 million. Because last year, uh, the, the national championship game was yeah, 10 million. I think it was right? 9.9. Yeah, 10 million. And it was played on a Sunday, I believe. Saturday I or Sunday, yeah. one of the two. Um, the, the only thing that would keep this from 10 million viewers tonight, and this is the truth, and Christian's right here, <laughs> is the fact that this is going to be a Raw that's going to have The Rock mm. and Cody Rhodes and their lead up to what they're doing at WrestleMania. Like, I, I'm not joking. Yeah. This being on a Monday night, the only reason this wouldn't hit 10 million viewers is because The Rock is going to be on Raw tonight. I, I'm not joking. Like God's honest truth. What, what do you think that number is going to be? My prediction for tonight is going to be just over 8 million. Wow. Wow. 
So there's no way. So that's going to be the number one viewer view, uh, viewing. Yeah, yeah. This will be the number one rated program on yeah. television tonight. But I do think Monday Night Raw could eat into what could have been up oh. over 10 million views. No, I thought you were saying Monday Night Raw is going to have 8 million. Oh, no, 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 You're no, You're saying no, no, that no. this game still But Monday gets, Night Raw yeah. is almost, it's it's baked in every Monday, two and a half, three million viewers. But especially when The Rock is and you're a couple of weeks away from WrestleMania, like it's going to eat into what could have been an all-time historic audience yeah. for Iowa and LSU. But this is all- Three million? Yeah. You think it's more? No, no, oh. no. I'm saying, damn. That's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah. But this this has the benefit of being on ESPN. Like, oh, it'll be that's, helpful. No that's doubt. That's going to help. Being on ESPN on a Monday night, 7 no o'clock doubt. tip off. Like, no doubt. There's going to be some screens that are just going to be on sure. ESPN and sports sure. bars all across, including the Kansas City room. Chiefs screwed it for everybody, made everybody download Peacock, and now you can watch Monday <laughs> yeah. Night Raw pretty easily. Uh, now, I mean, all. Uh, Wait, were they part of the first Peacock? What was the Peacock game? What did the Chiefs have to do with Peacock? They were the Peacock game. Weren't Dolphins? Oh, and Dolphins Chiefs, on Chiefs Peacock? Is Peacock. That was the first like that linear was. playoff game. Yeah. You know, I watched that at that bar because we had that because it was like, a, oh no, you're talking about the playoff game that mm-hmm. was on Peacock? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. I don't remember that. Uh, are you experiencing foot and ankle pain? Need to see an expert in the field? I'll do this read while you uh, think back oh, to, uh, to those you're times. Right, you're yeah. right, you're back right. Back to South Orthopedic Care is a team of foot and ankle orthopedic surgeons and specialists who are regarded as leaders in their specialty. Visit baptishealth.net slash ortho. To learn more today, Baptist Health Orthopedic Care combines its resources of experienced physicians, leading edge treatments, and technology to provide advanced orthopedic foot and ankle, joint replacement, spine, and sports medicine care. Visit baptishealth.net slash ortho for more information today. Baptist Health Health Orthopedic Care has offices conveniently located in Palm Beach County through the Florida Keys. Learn more by visiting baptishealth.net slash ortho. But here is what I would say for those like Christian who are saying, oh, wrestling, wrestling tonight, wrestling tonight. One, like me, I'm a big wrestling fan, but I rarely sit down and watch a full three-hour Monday Night Raw. Like, I just, I, I can't. Mm. Forget, like, the kids and stuff and, and adult responsibilities. I can't, for my sanity, sit down like I used to and watch three hours of Monday Night Raw. So when you I, tap in, when it starts to get hot and heavy? If there's a specific segment I know that's coming up, like I'm a sucker for The Rock. I'll tune in when I know The Rock is about to cut a promo, something along those lines. Very rarely in WWE do I get excited for non-pay-per-view matches because AEW, they put on the best wrestling matches, whereas WWE has better storylines and better promos, things along those lines. So what I do is... WWE, I'll tune in when someone's cutting a promo, The Rock's cutting a promo, good stuff. AEW, what I'll do is if I know there's a hot match that's going to be on, I'll tune in then, or I'll catch. They do a great job of putting full matches on like YouTube, and I'll watch it after the fact. Tonight, it's a primary women's college basketball, then maybe flip to the other stuff. That's the great thing about watching things on your phone, that your main TV can have LSU Iowa. That still makes it 10 watchability. That's your priority, or a 9 or an 8, and then flip through everything else. Yeah. Just flip through everything else. Take it from Papa Ken. That's how you need to be handling tonight. You don't want to miss out on what could be an epic cinematic moment in Iowa LSU tonight. Because I promise you, the men's side ain't going to have this type of drama. Because you know who's going to steamroll the rest of the way? Stone's beloved UConn Huskies. Well, let's not, that's right. let's not act like South Carolina's not going to steamroll the rest of the way in the women's South game. South Carolina's played nothing but close games in this tournament. South but Carolina's my... Oh, no. South, Car- South Carolina's not played nothing but close games. They South, had a couple close South games. South Carolina's a bigger okay. favorite to win the title in the Final Four than UConn is. Oh, and then, those close then, games were still... Ve- Vegas is stupid as hell. South really? Carolina minus Vegas 250 to get it done. stupid as hell. UConn numbers still floating around the minus... You know, 110 range, almost How is even that money. even possible? I gave it to you right here. Yeah, you got uh, South Carolina minus 250, Iowa plus 550, UConn plus 1,200, and NC State 1,800, USC That's plus 2,000. Those are the women's odds. They're like 38 no. So, uh, South Carolina, all right, they beat Oregon State by 12 yesterday. Yeah. South Carolina beat Indiana by four uh, last Friday. All right, it. they throttled North Carolina they, yeah, and throttled Presbyterian. Yeah. Right, fair enough. They played one close game. UConn's played nothing but double-digit games right. their last 10 NCAA tournament games. You're right. Which is more important. Impressive. Yeah. And for them to also. But what I'm saying is drama. Drama. What's the drama going to be? Is UConn going to win their final four games by 10 2? <laughs> hey, that's not dramatic. <laughs> what, but to this point, what if USC blows out? I mean, what if South Carolina blows out? One of these teams. South yeah. Carolina is that much better than LSU. They played into the final minute in the SEC championship game. South Carolina is not 15, 12, 10 points better than Iowa. So you think it's more likely 
UConn wins the national championship than South Carolina. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ooh, yes. do you? I absolutely believe that. On the I men's side, I, it is more likely that UConn's going to win the men's national championship than it is South Carolina winning the, the women's championship. I don't think it's a true statement. I don't know if All you right, can tweet say it that out. as confidently as you can. Let's tweet it out. Let's tweet it tweet out. It out. Barely, I don't know ball. All tweet you guys what? want to do is fight me today. You have listening. You want to fight me and correct me. <laughs> you two, all you want to do is fight me and correct me. That's fine. Let's tweet it out. Let's see. Let's I'd, see. You guys are so argumentative on a Monday. Let's do it. Uh, odds are, no, it's just... We can't just agree with I, I can't agree. a, a I can't statement agree like that. That's not that we want to argue. I'll say it right now. Vegas doesn't know what it's talking about. <laughs> Vegas, Vegas doesn't know ball today. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going, I'm fighting the Vegas machine. April Fools. Vegas knows everything. Everything huh. there is to know. This guy's a big Vegas guy. Uh, uh, could you tell the fine folks about Solid Waste Authority, Theo? If you could find it in your heart yeah. to, to tell people about Solid Waste Authority. I would love to, man, because in the midst of all of this, we're, we're talking about uh, how Vegas doesn't know ball, but just to justify your takes about UConn being dominant. One thing that is dominant is Palm Beach County when it comes to recycling in the state of Florida. If you didn't know this, Palm Beach County is actually a top recycler, not the top recycling county, but a top recycler in the state of Florida. And we kind of need your help to continue to be that. Our system actually only accepts certain items for recycling, though, and those are newspapers and inserts are one of them. If you have any newspapers or inserts, you can take those things, you can throw them right into your yellow bin. Important that they go in the yellow bin. And by recycling newspapers and inserts, you're going to help reduce greenhouse gases, you're going to save valuable resources, and also those materials that you're recycling get made into new products. Keep our community green and clean by recycling right. And every day in Palm Beach County, if you do that, you're making the world a better place. Recycle right. The Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County encourages you to do so and learn more at swa.org slash recycle right. What is UConn's odds to win the national champ? The men's UConn to win the national championship stone? The odds right now, I would give them to you in uh, standby. Okay. Because you just got, you weren't looking at the, the, the women's odds? I have the women's odds presented to you here. Right. No, I know. But what I'm saying is we were talking about the UConn men and the South Carolina women. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were so doing. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Because I can't believe Vegas thinks South Carolina has a better chance of winning the title than UConn does. And UConn hasn't played a non-double-digit game in the tournament in, in, uh, in 10 games. UConn, Huskies, men's. Uh-huh. Minus 190. Minus 190. To hoist the trophy. Okay. South Carolina women's, minus 250 to hoist the trophy. How is that possible? Uh, I mean, that's 60 bucks, so it's not that far off. But basically, you know, flip a coin. So it, it's not, you can't make but, that statement with such still, conviction. You, you, uh, USC, uh, yeah. South Carolina, yeah. I hate when people call them USC. Yeah, you South can't do Carolina that. is a bigger favorite Correct. than UConn. Correct. How? I don't know. <laughs> They should be, though. <sighs> it also does help that they're, they're there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they're a game behind in the Elite Eight as well, right? Like, uh, I mean, it, this is something. It's it, like an early dog bleep Monday. I don't, and since it is Monday, it is a dog bleep Monday. We'll get to that. But we'll, we'll, we'll take your social media. We'll keep taking your calls. Watchability, 1 through 10. LSU, Iowa tonight. What are you ranking it? 888-760-3776. 888-760-3776. Social media at KLV1063. That's 888-760-3776. I am so in, so in on LSU, Iowa. I give it a 10. Theo gives it a 10. We'll find out what Stone's given it. We'll find out what you give it. We've gotten some zeros. We've gotten some twos. We've got some eh, women's basketball. Not doing it for me. That's fine. All I'll say is that if you're a sports fan, this has all the storylines, all the juice you could possibly want, even if it's something that you don't traditionally tune into. 888-760-3776. 888-760-3776. That is Theo. That is Stone. I'm Ken Levick at Theo and Stone, ESPN 106.3. Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. This is ESPN 1063. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Palm Beach County invites you to rediscover the ReStores. Donate your new and gently used items or shop for great deals up to 60% off every day. 
sales of donated items help Habitat for Humanity partner with local families to build and repair safe and affordable homes in our community. They are now offering easy online scheduling and faster pickup times. Schedule today with any of their five locations or visit HabitatGreaterPBC.org to learn more. That's HabitatGreaterPBC.org. Hi, I'm Michael Manzo, owner and founder of Manzo's Italian Deli. And I... Stop, Dad. After 20 years, people are tired of hearing your voice. Yeah, and your lame-ass commercials. Fresh prosciutto, mozzarella, outstanding. Oh, please. There's only one reason Manzo's has voted number one deli in Palm Beach County for 20 years. Our mother. She makes sure you prepare everything from scratch using only the freshest ingredients. Mansur's Italian Deli is located on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard right next to Rain Dancers. Is that a strip club? No, it's a steakhouse. Mansur's is open weekdays from 8 to 5 and offers free delivery. So stop by or call 697-9411. That's 697-9411. We also specialize in hot and cold catering for corporate functions and special events. Just ask anyone who was at my last birthday party. Panthers fans, get ready for the excitement. Don't miss out on the 30th anniversary season of your Panthers. Single game tickets are now available for all 23-24 regular season home games at FloridaPanthers.com. Come rock Amaranth Bank Arena and celebrate the 30th anniversary with us. Go Cats! Reinhardt out of his own end with 10. Reinhardt over the blue line gives to Barkov. Five seconds left in overtime. Here's Reinhardt on the doorstep of the back and he scores! Let's go home, baby! PNC Bank is committed to making a difference in the lives of the customers and communities they serve by helping them move forward financially. As a Main Street bank, PNC is always working to make it easier for their customers to achieve their goals and plan for the future, whether that's through innovative digital solutions or in person. PNC is proud to be part of the South Florida community. See how PNC Bank can make a difference for you at pnc.com slash tech. PNC Bank, National Association, member FDIC. So, you finally have some time to yourself. Even if it is just the car ride home, it's you time. And look at you. Do not disturb set before you even got in the car? Impressive. You've earned this moment to just chill and drive. This break is brought to you by Target Zero and the Florida Department of Transportation. Want to accelerate your career as a manager or executive in the exciting industry of sports? FAU's MBA program in sport management is ranked number one in Florida, 10th in the world. Students learn practical and applied skills from top faculty and experts who work in the industry. The full-time MBA program sets students up for success in the world of sports. Check out FAU Sport Management MBA program today, fau.edu slash MBA sport. Hey, Steph Prince here, General Manager of ESPN West Palm, to tell you about a team that has meant a lot to me and this community for a long time. Bob and the team at Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning have been helping me stay cool for years, whether at home or in the office. And living in South Florida with three kids, I don't know what I'd do without them. Family owned and operated, serving Royal Palm Beach and beyond since 1980. Let the knowledgeable and trained team at Bradley help you with your residential and commercial needs, Installation, repair, seasonal maintenance, upgrades of all makes and styles and models of HVAC equipment, and so much more. Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning does things right the first time and makes the process smooth, stress-free, and most importantly, keeps you cool. Give them a call at 561-793-7497. That's 561-793-7497 or bradleyair.com. Any need, big or small, trust the amazing team at Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning.
responsibilities and you're tired of, of guys hugging it out all the time on the field and on the court. Okay. Yeah. Like there's no blurred lines with Angel Reese. She is what she is. She's a competitor. She wants to win. She's going to get after you. She's going to trash talk you. She's going to taunt you. And then you know what? The game's over. That's perfectly fine. To that point, I, I do hope with as much hype and as much conversation as the game's getting and them hating each other is getting, I hope that they're not too nice to each other tonight. Like I hope well, I don't because think, I don't think that's in Angel Reese's DNA, and I don't yeah. think Ka- Caitlin Clark. I, I, I get that. Caitlin I mean, Clark Caitlin either. Clark. Oh. I mean, did you see how in a first round sure. game she's going at the officials? Yeah. Like she's a different human being when she's on the floor. A hundred percent agree. I just hope enough people don't get in their ears. Like, hey I guys, remember your role models. Yeah. This is a big stage for you tonight. There's going to be ten million people. Like, make sure you're putting on a good display and representing Iowa and representing Louisiana yeah. State University. I hope that doesn't be happen. Dignified. I guess to me, I, if anybody walked up to Angel Reese and said on the floor, be dignified, I get the sense she would just laugh in their face. Like that's that's the sense I, I would get. I hope she sticks from to her coaches. guns. I, I don't think that Kim Mulkey is going to tell them right. to be more docile no, or whatever. No. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, Kim so. Mulkey, when they fought South Carolina, Don Staley sitting up there, South Carolina's coach, saying. Uh, that we don't want to represent college basketball like that. Kim Mulkey's like, oh, I wish that she would have tried to take a swing at Angel Reese, someone her size. Yeah. Like, it's not in this LSU team's DNA to be like, oh, we got to set an example. No, the no. one thing LSU wants to do is win a damn game. This is the Super Bowl, though. We said that. Like, this yeah. is the biggest of the biggest. Yeah. We haven't seen this before. I mean, we have, but now the stakes are even higher. Uh, so last year was 9.3, so right about $10 million, uh from a, a TV standpoint. Yeah. Uh, that is absolutely insane. That national championship game, as crazy as it sounds, wrestling could cut into that being a number higher than 9.3. Here, here's one thing I can guarantee. <laughs> WWE. I can, well, I wouldn't say guarantee because I don't know who's going to be in it, but like I feel like this will be the most watched game no matter what happens after this in I women's agree, basketball. I would agree unless the ESPN machine, if it does turn into South Carolina and L- – what is the – you know, and this is a bad job by me. What does the, the bracket look like real quick on uh, the, uh, the women's wait, side? UConn, South Carolina. So, yeah, South Carolina has – No, um, but I mean, I mean Final Four. Like uh, they have NC State. Yeah, right. South right. Carolina, oh, yeah, NC State, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then So a South Carolina LSU – Right. National that would have championship to be, that. game, yeah. the ESPN machine would get it close enough to ten million, where it might at least it might at least flirt with it. I don't know because you've got the all you have to do is know. show the fight from the the SEC championship game. Now it's it's not an I don't know. There if it's are enough. so many names and stars in the in this women's. It's awesome. The March Madness. I'd rather see Iowa and USC. I want to see Kaylin Clark and Juju. Now I know that would be. The final four Same, matchup if final we get four, that. Yeah. I care more about that than, honestly, this game and then one after. So it's, at this point, personal preference. Dude, that's because interesting. I want to see Juju cover yeah. Caitlin Clark full court and, and vice versa. Like, I want that Have matchup. Have they played? No. no. Oh, but it would man. not be the ratings win, but it would set up women's college basketball for, like, the next step of continuing on past Juju. this golden totally. era. Right Juju's, Juju's, that, Juju's the she's one. She's the one, yeah. Juju's it. Like, she, Kay- needs to ri- she needs to – like who would she be able to like start some kind? I don't not a contrived one, but a rivalry with for Juju because who rivals her right now in the sport at that age? If if Kaylin Clark couldn't guard Juju, so if that was the matchup, well, Kaylin Clark on is to, an objectively yeah. average to below average yeah. defender. So I mean that would be her coming out. But Kaylin Clark would be, be leaving, cooking Kaylin right. Clark. I, yeah, I get it. I here, get it. Here we go. Here's my bold prediction. It worked really well. Illinois UConn on yeah. the men's side. My <laughs> bold prediction is you're gonna have to wait another year for Juju. Paige Buchers and company move on. Ooh. UConn's wow. in the Final Four. I'm out on that. Okay, hold on. I'm hold out on, on that. This isn't bold. Mm-hmm. UConn is a three-and-a-half point favorite sure. against USC. Okay. But yeah. I got you. But you're the one who wants, like, you're, you're the one I who wants to I didn't realize they, they were the favorites. Yeah, minus 165 on the money line. Oh, they hard rock back. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I mean, they're a one seed. They're, they're awesome. We, just, we got so accustomed to, U, to UConn dominating right. that we've been so focused on South Carolina yeah. and LSU, and I, we forget, oh, yeah, there's Gino Horiema and UConn just winning. Doing what they do. Isn't LSU the slightly favored over uh, Iowa? No, Iowa. Uh, minus one and a half. Oh, they are. Minus I, 125. I'm on the going to line. the Hard Rock Bet app, and I am taking LSU. <laughs> Ooh. Just jamming it. Plus 105. Yeah, just jamming Take it. that. Hard Rock Bet. Jamming Bay. it. Hard Rock Bet is Florida's sports book. Hard Rock Bet. I know Stone lives by one of the greatest days in Stone's life, and he's had a bunch of them, like when he uh, he won a playoff game at Southern Illinois. Sure. And uh, when when uh, he uh, left college and, and gained employment and made his parents very, very proud. Sure. Uh, when he met Jess, uh, Absolutely. Uh, his, his girlfriend. All great days. But right up there, right up there, 
is the day that sports betting became legal in the state of Florida. No lies told. Hard Rock Bet Florida Sportsbook, the only legal place to bet on sports. You can bet on your favorite teams tonight, every night on the top-rated Hard Rock Bet app. Easy sign-up, fast deposits and withdrawals, PayPal, Venmo cards, and more. Hundreds of props, parlays, live play-by-play betting across every sport, football, basketball, hockey, soccer, and a whole lot more. You can bet anywhere in the state of Florida. All you have to do to get started is don't, uh, download Hard Rock Bet on the App Store or Google Play Store or go online, Hard Rock dot bet that app is super easy to use don't believe me download it use it and when you sign up you get a no regret first bet up to a hundred dollars so don't miss don't miss the opportunity here with hard rock bet try hard rock bet now get a no regret first but uh, bet up to a hundred dollars use that no regret first bet on parlays props overs and more if the first bet first bet doesn't win you get up to a hundred dollars back to try again it is awesome it is risk-free the amount you bet in the same amount you get back paid as a bonus bet they're trying to help you they're trying to get you on track they're trying to get your legs under you it is hard rock bet florida sports book offered by the seminal tribe of florida must be 21 plus and physically present in florida Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concern about gambling? Call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. It's that time of the week, kiddos. Have you heard, seen, read anything this week in sports where you said, what an abject piece of dog bleep that is? Well, good thing we have a platform for you. Coach Sala, could you please, if you'd be so kind, bring us in? Um, yeah, it's dog it is a dog bleep Monday. What did you see, read here in sports that was abject dog bleep? 888-760-3776. 888-760-3776. Social media at KLV1063. That's 888-760-3776. Time to cleanse your soul. That's Theo, that's Stone. I'm Ken Levick at Theo and Stone, ESPN 1063. NHR and Levine accident attorneys call 1-800-747-3. This is ESPN 1063 WUU. UB Jupiter, a good karma brand's radio station. Hey, it's Josh Cohen. When you are in need of any kind of auto repair, honesty and reliability are everything. Trust the home for honest, reliable service, St. Lucie Battery and Tire. Just like the name St. Lucie Battery and Tire has all tire and battery brands in stock for cars, trucks, RV, marine, power sport, even golf carts. Major and minor service repairs, free tire pressure, and free battery checks. St. Lucie Battery and Tire, over 50 years in our community. 17 full service locations, all the way from West Palm Beach to the Treasure Coast. Check them out at SL bt.com that's slbt.com time now for a pnc pause pnc bank is committed to making a difference in the lives of the customers they serve in the south florida community see how at pnc.com you are listening to espn 1063 for generations hard-working people have relied on ford f-series trucks to help grow businesses communities families a legacy of capability and technology that has made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. Based on 1977 to 2023 calendar year total sales. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 Admit It. The Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, an affiliate of the Palm Beach Health Network, is committed to delivering high quality care to the communities they serve. Their award winning physicians and specialists provide a level of expertise that has resulted in regional firsts and outstanding patient outcomes. For a physician referral, call 866 654 2362. To learn more about the Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, visit pbhnphysiciangroup.com. pbhnphysiciangroup.com to get in touch with the Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group. Hey, it's Tina from Josh Cohen and the Home Team. Celsius is my go-to for all the good vibes. Whether I'm at the beach, hitting the gym, or hanging out with friends, Celsius keeps me refreshed and energized. Packed with seven essential vitamins, it's the perfect drink for my active lifestyle. Try exciting new flavors like Cosmic Vibe or Lemon Lime. There's even on-the-go powder sticks so you can bring the good vibes with you wherever you go. Purchase your favorite flavor at your local retailer today. Celsius Essential Energy Drinks. 
Calling all sports fans. Grab your MVP card and head to Duffy's where you can catch all of the action. Not an MVP? Sign up for free and start earning rewards today. Duffy's is voted the best sports grill year after year with their award-winning burgers and wings. Don't forget about Duffy's famous two-for-one drinks all day, every day. And with over 80 TVs in every location, you'll never miss a minute of the game. Visit Duffy'sMVP.com to learn more. Duffy's, our game is always on. Come rock with us at the 2024 Orange Bowl Food and Wine Celebration, presented by Florida Blue. Head over to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino on Friday, April 12th, and experience unlimited food tastings from 40 of South Florida's A-list restaurants while vibing to the house DJ and live band. All this plus an open bar and a chance to score incredible raffle prizes. General admission is $125, $250 for VIP. Proceeds benefit Orange Bowl Cares initiatives. Get your tickets at orangebowl.org. Explore the wild at Palm Beach Zoo and Conservation Society, where every visit saves wildlife. Enjoy a leisurely stroll along our lush tropical pathways and experience unforgettable encounters with hundreds of animals from around the world. Feed colorful lorikeets, cool off in our splash pad, or go behind the scenes in an exclusive animal experience. From majestic big cats to lively pink flamingos, there's something for everyone. Purchase your tickets at palmbeachzoo.org. That's palmbeachzoo.org. You're listening to ESPN 1063, presented by Rubenstein Law. 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Car accident, truck accident, Uber or Lyft accident, or slip and fall? Call Rubenstein Law. Call 1-800-FL-LEGAL and visit one of our offices throughout Florida. Hi, I'm Ken Levick, and your house is probably disgusting. In South Florida, your indoor air quality can suffer. You need EDS air conditioning, allergy season, pollen, dust, pollutants all inside. EDS has a solution. Get a free home air quality assessment, plus save $500 on an air purification bundle. EDS and RGF Black Label Dealer, that means EDS can help you with a new Remy Halo air purifier, cleaning your indoor air, even killing COVID-19. EDS is yes. Get a free home air quality assessment, purify your air, breathe better, edsairconditioning.com. Did you miss this? People who take their shoes off in a movie theater are A, they're entitled to, B, inconsiderate, or C, scumbags. Tina, how do you think they voted? Scumbags, 70%. Dean Thomas. Scumbags, 80%. C-Cat. Entitled to, 45%. (laughs) (laughs) 66 percent scumbags 29 yep. percent inconsiderate so if you do the math that means 95 percent say it's wrong of you it's josh cohen in the home team weekdays at four on espn 1063 hey steph prince here general manager of espn west palm to tell you about a team that has meant a lot to me and this community for a long time Bob and the team at bradley heating and air conditioning have been helping me stay cool for years whether at home or in the office And living in South Florida with three kids, I don't know what I'd do without them. Family owned and operated, serving Royal Palm Beach and beyond since 1980. Let the knowledgeable and trained team at Bradley help you with your residential and commercial needs, installation, repair, seasonal maintenance, upgrades of all makes and styles and models of HVAC equipment, and so much more. Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning does things right the first time and makes the process smooth, stress-free, and most importantly, keeps you cool. Give them a call at 561-793-7497. That's 561-793-7497 or bradleyair.com. Any need, big or small, trust the amazing team at Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning. Hey guys, it's Josh Cohen from the home team. South Florida is buzzing with good vibes, thanks to Celsius. Whether I'm hosting the show, attending an event, or outside relaxing by the pool, Celsius keeps me refreshed with seven essential vitamins and new mouth-watering flavors like green apple cherry, Oasis Vibe, and lemon lime. You'll be refreshed enough to enjoy the good vibes. Purchase your favorite flavors today at your local retailers. Celsius Essential Energy Drinks. Can we do it again? Yeah, yeah. Can we do it again? Yeah, yeah. Can we do it again? Yeah, yeah. I need to do it again. Yeah, yeah. From the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios, it's LaVica, Theo, and Stone, presented by Hard Rock Bet, Florida's official sports book on ESPN 1063. It's always tough on a day like this to determine whether something is true or false, especially in the age of social media. April Fool's Day has taken on just a dark, morbid, and really unfunny tact. 
but this apparently appears to be real and it is a massive, massive, massive downer. Former Dolphins corner Vontae Davis has died at the age of 35. That is miserable. Absolutely miserable. Uh, I was able to develop a relationship with Vontae, and this isn't me, oh, let's make it about Ken, let's make it about Ken, but just to give you context about the type of person Vontae Davis was, Vontae Davis drafted in 2009 by the Dolphins right after that playoff year, uh, first-round pick out of Illinois after a fantastic career in Champaign. Uh, and so when he came to Davey, uh, there was immediately something for me who was covering the Dolphins on a daily basis at the time to, to relate to him with, and that is... Illinois. Mm. Hey, my my parents went there. I've been to countless uh, Illinois football games. Illinois fan. I love Vontae Davis, and so there was just that that uh, ability to connect with him. And uh, uh, there's the story. Uh, Evan makes fun of me all the time. He was in the locker room after a game, uh, and after uh, I got done interviewing Vontae Davis, I like tapped him on the pack, like, "Hey, thanks, man." And Evan's uh, Evan always makes fun of me for that. Like, why would you do so? But that's like Vontae was legit, like my guy mm. on that dolphin speed. Anytime I talk to him, anytime I'm done interviewing him, dap up, "Hey, you good? You good? Yeah, totally." I hated the way in which he was portrayed. In Hard Knocks, the Joe Philbin version of Hard Knocks, mm-hmm. where Jeff Ireland basically embarrassed him knowing cameras were there, and he had to call his grandma, and then social media blew up, and everybody was making fun of him. I hated that. Hated that because it is his core. He was just an innocent dude who loved his grandma, and that's the person who took care of him. And I hated the way that that ended with the Dolphins. I'll never forgive Jeff Ireland for that, and I hate the way HBO portrayed that entire thing. Mm-hmm. And so now, and he's gone through some struggles the last couple of years. You recall he retired in the middle of a game. Uh, he's, he's, it's, been, it's been tough for him. Uh, but him now apparently passing away at the age of 35 is a massive, massive, horrendous downer uh, because I, just, I feel like his, his life deserved better because he was a very, very, very good soul. So... Uh, Vontae Davis definitely a loss and somebody who I think does play a part in modern Dolphins history. He was definitely a very good player, probably didn't realize potential, but I also think along the way got some raw deals and isn't appreciated as much for his ability as he should be. So uh, we're definitely thinking about the uh, the Davis family, his grandmother, who according to NBC, uh, learned the news of his passing. Again, the woman who, who, who raised him. Mm-hmm. He's the brother of Vernon Davis, who will probably await a, uh, a statement from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's just awful. Just absolutely awful. Yeah. You never want to see stuff like that. And that's what, when I first saw the tweet, I'm like, you know, in 2024, these April Fool's jokes, like you said, they kind of go too far sometimes, and you don't want to read and believe things you see, and especially like a guy like Vontae Davis who's so young. Um, but that's that's uh, it's a tough one to swallow. And, of course, you know, you, you mentioned the, the mid-game retirement thing that a lot of people had fun with, um, and, and that's kind of the way that people remember his NFL career. That's the way he went out on. Uh, but like you said, he was an elite player. He was a really good really football damn player. Really good player, man. Um, and, and, yeah, I hate that, man, I 35. Just, he was, he was a, a, a good person and as personable as anybody I've ever encountered in an NFL locker room, period. Um, so, yeah, that's awful. That is, uh, that is awful. Uh, Stone, what do you want to do? Do we want to uh, tell people about Duffy's real quick? Then we'll get to Ernie. I think it's a great idea. All right, let's, uh, Theo, if you could, if you could uh, bestow upon us the virtues of Duffy's. That's right, man. Duffy Sports Grill. Uh, no easy way to just transition out of that, but one place I do like to kick it, especially if you're trying to find a place to watch uh, some of the great games and whatnot. We talked about the watchability of um, tonight's game with Iowa and LSU. Well, if you have multiple things you do want to watch, if you are kind of like my guy Jupiter Joe and you want to watch the Texas Rangers or maybe you want to see the Florida Panthers as well and you got all these different options, Well, the easy solution is to go to Duffy's Sports Grill. At Duffy's, there's more than 80 televisions in every single restaurant location. And there's also so many locations throughout South Florida. There's one near you. I can almost guarantee it. Duffy's Sports Grill. And then when you're there, 
you got the TV, so your setup is good. Then you're going to want to pull out that menu. And if you're a vet like me, first thing you're doing is you're starting yourself off on a two for one drinks. It's two for one drinks all day, every day. So you got to get that order in first, get your drink going. Uh, after you get your drink going and you'll have another one on your way, you can enjoy some of the award winning burgers, some of the award winning wings. And then you double back and you get the second drink. Again, they won't charge you because it's two for one. And you have yourself a good viewing experience of any sports games, anything you want to tap into as you're chowing down on your burger, your wings, or maybe your amazing mozzarella sticks. Duffy'sMVP.com if you want to sign up and make sure you're tracking your awards and stacking up those points like myself. Become an MVP today. And at Duffy's, our game is always on. So uh, we've got the national championship game tonight. We are locked in LSU, Iowa. Theo says it's a 10. 10 when it comes to must watch. I'm in. I say 10. I have not been excited about anything sports wise sitting on my couch and watching it since Dolphins and Bills in, in week 18. I, I, this this to me much more and I, I'm not saying this to like get on Theo's nerves uh, but I'm much more interested in this than the Super Bowl oh, no. uh, for me I, this this has everything you need it's got tension it's got competitiveness it's got championship implications it has superstar power I, I love this man uh, Clark versus Reese to me, better than Mahomes versus Purdy from a pure star power standpoint. I mean, sorry. I like the big stars. I like when the stars come out. These are the stars. Uh, there, there's no Brock Purdy in this situation. It's true. Yeah. Well, like, come on. Purdy, Purdy's the one that deluded a little bit. Yeah, he did. That's that what is, I'm saying. Yeah. It's his fault. So don't blame me. Blame, okay. blame him. So then I take that. I won't be offended. One through ten. Must watchability. Stone, what are you giving uh, LSU Iowa tonight? I'm going to go ten out of ten. I mean, this is appointment television. This is going to get grown-ass men to sit on their couch and, and turn this game on and not watch whatever they plan on watching originally. I don't know what else there is to say about the game. Like, I think we're just so damn excited. Hurry up and come. Yeah. Like, 7 p. <laughs> 7, <laughs> 7, p. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. tip-off here. Uh-huh. Uh, Iowa and LSU. Like I said, I don't know. What else there is to say? Now my mind's blank. I, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, here's a, here, to get you back on track, you're going you're gonna to have the game on, and you're just going to flip to the Panthers uh, occasionally. Oh, I'm going to be bouncing this back and forth. This, this is your yeah. priority. This is your priority. Yeah, this is the nightly. Th- exactly. Yeah. It, on a, it's, thank you. For, for a normal night, on a Monday night, I'm going to watch seven or eight different games. This is how my Monday goes. This is how my Tuesday goes. This is how my Wednesday goes. But yes, this is in that 1A slot for me. This takes priority. Yeah. yeah. Over this the is Panthers. the 1A. This is the 1A. It is. I love that. It I is. absolutely love that. Twitter will be a buzz. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of, uh, probably a lot of ammunition for Twitter trash, Twitter treasure. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. I, yeah. I'm gonna now, get you're all talking, you have to do is tap in tonight. Yeah. No talking, doubt. Twitter's going to be a buzz. Twitter is going to break yeah. tonight, just like it did last year. That I'm not ready for. I know. Have it's going to be some ever, bad stuff to sift through. It's going to be some good stuff. It's oh, going to yeah. be fun. Have you ever seen Ghostbusters 2, by any no. chance, anyone? No. I was going to make an analogy to Ghostbusters 2, but I I think it would be lost on you guys, so I'm not going right. to do it anymore. I wish I could be there for you, buddy. <sighs> Ghostbusters, no, best movie ever made. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ernie in Boyden. What's up, Ernie? What's up, guys? Thanks for taking my call, and happy Monday. Happy uh, Monday. I would say from 1 to 10, it's a 10. Uh, what the only thing is, they should have put them in the different brackets because this was going to be in, inevitable. This was going to happen. I don't know why they didn't put them in different brackets it sucks. so they can meet in the final four instead of in the same bracket. That that part is the only part that kind of I question. And um, as for I'm watching, but I'm watching from my phone because I'm coaching tonight. I'm coaching my son's team, so I am watching as I'm screaming. Wait, what sport? Baseball. Attention. Baseball, yes. Nice. I'm a baseball coach. What it. position does your son play? Every position, except for uh, catcher. He's just learning right now, but okay. he's pretty much pitcher, second baseman, third baseman, outfield. He's got the glove. He's got the hits. He's just, he's just, he doesn't crouch well. He doesn't do in the crouching position doesn't that much. How old is he? How old is he? He is ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning catcher is the last position any kid wants to learn, but uh, I do feel like it's more appreciated as you get later on there through uh, through Little League. That is correct. Um, I, as, uh, I need to say something to Stone. Uh, and for you, Ken, uh, your last week's interview with uh, Coach May when uh, he was leaving, uh-huh. I'm sorry. I have to apologize to FAU fans all abroad. Uh, I apologize that Michigan had taken away your coach, but I can say this from that interview, that man 
is going to be well received if that's the man that we that they hired. If that's the guy that yeah, they hired, then yeah. I, I'm gonna, I, I again, I apologize that we took you, we took him from you, but man, I'm so glad they picked the right guy because uh, Juwan Howard, I, I didn't think so they were going to let him go, and when they let him go, yeah. they, I, I was really wondering where were they going to go in terms of coaching. I just didn't think those would be yeah. in, my, in my own backyard. You but, got someone as a Michigan I, fan. You got someone who gives you the best chance to get back to a Final Four uh, of I think anybody that was out there uh, available right now because Juwan Howard certainly correct. wasn't going to do it. Uh, Dusty is and I know that you followed that FAU run Dusty is as good as you're going to find. Uh, you guys got real lucky that the uh the cosmos aligned for uh for Michigan basketball. Yes it did. And uh Stone, as for your comment last week about the buzzsaw that is the Panthers. You forget about the Rangers. Don't forget about the New York Rangers, buddy. Rangers. We've got the total points. I'm I'm ta- right? I'm tapped in tonight against the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm tapped in tonight. I know. I'm- I'm, 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 I'm trying to get to that, too, because i got to see where we're going to stand, and I hope we get the President's Cup, which really doesn't mean anything because every year that the, per, the team wins the President's Cup, they end up not going to the Stanley Cup Finals. So it's not something that I really want, but just to say the Rangers are in your path, buddy. So good, we'll see you in the playoffs. Good luck to you, brother. Thanks, Ernie. Appreciate it. Uh, Cat. Christian Cat, Audible Assassin. You hear him every single day, Uh-oh. 4 o'clock with Josh Cohen. Uh, Josh Cohen and the home team here on ESPN 106.3. Hello, Audible Assassin. Well, guys, thank you for taking my call. And can I reply to your tweet earlier today asking for the uh, dog yeah. bleat moment of the weekend? I saw it on Twitter, and it was your take that on a scale from 1 to 10, that you're a 10 in terms of being excited for tonight's Elite Eight women's basketball game between LSU and Iowa. And the reason I have that feeling is because I I answered that with a question for you guys. How many NFL, if someone came to you and said, you can watch tonight's game, but what I ask of you is that you have to give up an NFL Sunday, a full 1 p.m. or maybe 9 a.m. I won't give it a 9 a.m. for a London game. A 1 p.m. to midnight, you cannot watch NFL football that Sunday. How many if any at all, NFL Sundays, would you be willing to give up in order to watch tonight's game? That's all I've got for you guys. I'm interested mm. to see where you go with this. All right. Okay. Appreciate it. First time, long time. Uh, uh, first of all, I don't think that's an accurate. That's crazy. I, I don't think that's a question that, that applies. It's not applicable to this because I, until the Dolphins run on a Sunday, I'm sort of in passing side eye and red zone. That's not that's not me displaying watchability or hardcore. Got to sit down, pay attention. That's me playing with the girls. That's me sipping some tequila, scrolling through my phone, looking up at Scott Hansen and what he's doing occasionally, like doing other things. Sidetracked. Oh, red zone is not one A for me. When the Dolphins are on, right there, it's one A. Then I'll check back in red zone on my phone. Uh, make sure the girls are still alive, like things like that. Tonight is like one A. 1A, 1A, looking forward to it, thinking about it all day. That rarely happens on an NFL Sunday for me, even on days the Dolphins are playing when it's like the Panthers or the Titans, that, which that, didn't oh. go well for me this year, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out that Titans game. Yeah. Um, it's hard because now you're pitting one winner-go-home game, which is a national championship uh, a rematch, against a Sunday. Sunday slate of games. Which is sort of just like a – that's that's like a um, – um, like part of your – It's a regimen. It's a, yeah, it's a ritual. Right. It's like exactly. Sunday. It's part of your routine. I don't think, that's the word I was looking for. I don't for. think this is very hard to answer. I'm getting rid – I can sacrifice one or two Sunday slates for this game. Yeah. Like, no doubt. It's, I can there, do one. There are Sundays. Why would you need to yeah, in order to a, prove your point? That's my question. He's just, I think he's just pinning right the man NFL up against uh, a women's college basketball how about game. Do like, one game. How about your favorite team's game? How, what you sacrifice? How many of your like for you the Dolphins, for me the Chiefs, for Stone whoever Aaron Rodgers? Depending Rogers how the rest for. of this offseason goes, it might be seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping. I'm dropping the Jets Monday night game like a fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's the thing. Yeah. Like if if Christian, if the Audible Assassin were to ask me, oh, you've got to you've got to get rid of two or three Monday night football games mm. in order to, you know what I do that's in better. one second? That's better. Later Monday night football. Totally. I'm locked into Monday night women's college basketball tonight. We found it. We we found our topic because it's also applicable because it's Monday night. It's on ESPN. Right. How many Monday night footballs, which is, again, a standalone game, mm-hmm. would you give up in order to watch this game? Correct. I guess we could have just said if 
There was a Monday Night Football game on tonight. Which you watch this And you only there. had a choice to watch one of them. Which one are you watching? A lot of those. It's one oh, of those college brats. It's yeah. this game. Yes. Yeah, that, it's not even close. And I love you. I love me some Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Uh, I'm a little bit down on the Manning cast these days. Uh, that's besides the point. Yeah, this all day. Come all on, day. man. Because this has so much more juice than your typical Monday night football game, especially weeks one through ten. Yeah. It's also. Like, what are we talking about here? It's also, you know, the, the winner is going to be cutting down the nets and headed to the final four. Uh, Monday night football. I mean, we could be talking about like Ryan Tannehill versus Russell Wilson. Right. That's like, the thing. You know, and like. We got, we got a, a, a game 12 months in the making, whereas Monday night football, you're right. Yeah. Even a good team. Like who wants to watch Brock Purdy? <laughs> you keep on. What's up with you and Brock Purdy hey, today? You guys, you guys came at me aggressively, so I'm taking it all out on Brock Purdy here in the second. <laughs> what if hour. it was JJ McCarthy's first Monday Night Football <laughs> start? I'm telling you, it, his debut. We, before we and we got to get to a break so oh, we can really. Theo struggling on this oh, one. Okay. Before we came on the air, I bleep you not. Theo is about to have an aneurysm sitting here waiting for noon to, to, to hit. I thought that we were going to lose Theo for the whole show. Yeah. Mike Greenberg and Hembo are talking about. How J.J. McCarthy oh is God. creeping up. Did, up. Greenberg said something along the lines of, uh, it was not to say that he's maybe the third best quarterback in this. That's my Greenberg impression. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, and Theo was just shaking with rage. But this is what's happening with J.J. McCarthy. Because I think it's him being a Michigan man. I think him being a Harbaugh disciple inherently. Yeah. Like scouts fall into the romanticism of Harbaugh because who's got it better than us? Nobody. <laughs> and so what's happening, it's just like what we saw with Anthony Richardson last year. Once that hype train got out of the station and his unbelievable PR machine started to latch onto it, Anthony Richardson, he's doing flips at the combine. <gasps> oh, my God. Would you look at that? What quarterback can do that? Like That's great. But he's not going to the Summer Olympics. He's going to the NFL. He's not going to be doing flips on the field. Anthony Richardson cleaned up a locker room, cleaned up a meeting room. Yeah. <gasps> Look at the high character. Anthony Richardson saved a cat from a tree. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. What an all-American man. Helped an old lady across the street. Holy Lord, that clinches it. He's the best quarterback in the draft. These things are happening with J.J. McCarthy right now. He's got Anthony Richardson's PR machine. Best Throwing day at a pro day ever? Uh, Shut up. Come on. J.J. McCarthy, look at him. He barely threw at Michigan, but now look at this hidden gem flying up the draft boards. Guys, this is all speculation, but now we're starting to take it as gospel because yeah. his PR machine is so good. Saying, look, look at J.J., look at J.J., Look at him, Michigan man. Look at the ring. Oh, look, no defense, and look how far he throws it. Oh, he was almost in stride with that receiver. Guys, you can't miss on him. J.J. McCarthy has Anthony Richardson's PR machine. He has the same PR company. This is Anthony Richardson 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Richardson is a starting quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I was about to say, and I, I bought the Anthony Richardson hype, so now I feel happened? like an idiot. What happened? He hurt. What makes he, him so good? What makes him so good? He's so athletic, so athletic. What happened the first time he tried to roll with the football? Bam! Broken. Didn't see him again for the rest of the year. He was year. so dominant, But though, you're going to see him. You're so good. Minutes. I know, Who I know. Cares? But you're going to see him in 2024. Baker I, I'm Mayfield excited. Mayfield brought the Browns to the playoffs. And then he fell into the bottom barrel practice squad of the Panthers. Stop getting your falling into it. I am. Anthony Richardson, it, what he did it, it at the start of the year, he was the good. equivalent of doing backflips to the combine, and then he got all starry-eyed. Yes. And then what happened? He tried to do something athletic, and it got broken because that's his game. He can't sit in the pocket and just wing it and pick people apart. No, he can't, and he doesn't need to because the dude is You're an athletic into the freak. Trap. And he, well, well, here's the only difference between the Anthony Richardson trap and the J.J. McCarthy trap is I don't – at least with Anthony Richardson, they're saying, okay, maybe like a guy – you can, we saw Josh Allen. We saw like the Cam Newtons. There were like comps that people were bringing up, and I'm like, wow, if you get the best out of Anthony Richardson and you're able to make him into something like that, I, I would be all in on that. The dude is an athletic freak. He does have the biggest arm in the draft. He is the fastest quarterback in the draft. I just I, – I don't see what – what is J.J. McCarthy in this draft? He, he doesn't have the biggest arm. Um, he didn't have the most production. He, I would argue that the least production of the guys that are about to get drafted in the first or second round. He's a Michigan man. I know he's a Michigan man. He's got the national championship. He's the only one with it. He's the only one with the national championship. But, I mean, so did Sam Bradford. Or not Sam. Did he have a national championship? <laughs> he Why played in the Sam national Bradford? championship game. 
And, Sam, and he lost it. And huh? Sam Bradford yeah. wasn't a total bum in the NFL. <laughs> like, he was all right. Well, he was a number one overall I, pick. He was all he right. Was, he was. Sam Bradford had a disappointing Sam career. Sam Bradford was fine. Yeah, but injuries caught up yeah, to him. But, like, he was injuries. fine. I don't know why I went with Sam. That was such a random pick. Yeah, where, where, what were you doing there? Is that racist to pick Sam Bradford? No, not. I don't know why I picked Sam Bradford. I think because I was trying to think of a national championship winning quarterback. Matt Leinard. Here we go. There it is. That's much better. It's a better it's a better comp at least because he had he had two of them, didn't he? Or at least he went to two. Yeah. He lost I don't know. to Texas in the other one. Yeah, he lost to Texas. Shout out Vince Young. Vince Young. Another guy with a national championship. Vince Young was okay when healthy. Vince Young was definitely okay. Nah, he was. He had. I mean, he had two good years, and then he, I guess, health. The only is that what's going to happen to Anthony Richardson? I'd be so <laughs> sad. Stop! Stop! That's messed up. I'd be so sad. <laughs> I was going to say. Stop it! The Don't. Only, ah. Can the only thing I would argue Vince Young way uh, a better pro prospect than Anthony. Yeah, Richardson I mean, was. Yeah. the only devil's advocate perspective that I can even bring to the table in regards to JJ McCarthy would be the fact that why are you knocking scouts for fawning at the Michigan machine? And what Harbaugh's done, like their track record in the NFL is great, phenomenal. Was JJ McCar- wait, 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 did JJ McCarthy play the offensive line? Was he a running back? Uh, did he play in the secondary? No, he played the position that under Jim Harbaugh was least necessary to win a national championship. It w- that's not a true statement. He that played is quarterback a true statement. for the Michigan Wolverines. If we have to point to a 2022 game where the refs cheated against oh Illinois as J.J. McCarthy's shining moment playing quarterback for Michigan, that was the least important position of yeah. Jim Harbaugh's last two years as head coach in Michigan. He played, Jones. he played the most important position on the best team in the NCAA and won a national championship and, and he, he comes was, from a Michigan machine that really just pumps out NFL and of 24 position players offense and defense he was maybe the 23rd most important where's 24 I'm sorry offense 22 and, 20th hey special teams <laughs> kicker, no, I don't know why I that said kicker and punter in there 20 that 20th most important I'm okay Point taken. I'm okay putting my faith in anybody coming out of Michigan regardless of what position wow. they play because they come from Michigan I think quarterback they come out of oh, quarterback is different though quarterback when is different when have we been proven otherwise Maybe quarterback the is last different. good Michigan quarterback not named Brady don't do that because I was going to say Tom Brady <laughs> <laughs> and that was all luck and, and that has nothing to do with and, Jim Harbaugh right. and Tom Brady's draft profile was piss poor Coming out of Michigan, you would have thought the guy was going to be a bum. Oh, well, then you'd think that maybe, well, based off of that, Michigan would have had someone uh, fall face first into a good NFL career since then, and nope, they haven't. Well, also, would have drafted him in the sixth round. Or at least wait until 15. If somebody trades up to three to draft J.J. McCarthy, I just I, that's what would make me more incredulous. I don't even think he's a bum or anything. I just think for no, him to be mentioned, bum. he's not a bum. Yeah. I'm he just isn't He's like not a bum. He had the best pro day <laughs> throwing session we've ever seen. No, that's true. That's just <laughs> worth the hard uh, ball. All right, we got to take a break. We got to get to a dog bleep Monday. We're late. That's Theo. That's Stone. I'm Ken. Levick at Theo and Stone, ESPN 1063. Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. This is ESPN 1063. When it comes to choosing a health plan, you can trust the members who have experienced it firsthand. Humana is proud to offer a Medicare Advantage plan in Florida that earned five out of five stars. Five stars is the highest rating possible. It's based on real members' experiences, and it's decided by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Our Humana Gold Plus HMO earned five out of five stars. That means a few things. It means members get outstanding customer service, It means we connect them with excellent preventive care and chronic condition support. Most of all, it means you have a trustworthy option for a Medicare Advantage plan. Explore our five-star Humana Gold Plus HMO at humanafivestar.com. Humana, a more human way to healthcare. Every year, Medicare evaluates plans based on a five-star rating system. Humana is a Medicare Advantage HMO organization with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in any Humana plan depends on contract renewal. Now, let's check the Bradley Heating and Air Weather Center. Bradley Heating and Air Conditioning, keeping the Palm Beaches cool since 1980. Visit them today at bradleyair.com. 
Waking up to really nice and dry conditions out there. Temperatures are in the 60s this morning, then heating up to high of 82 degrees. That's right on average for this time of year. So comfortable conditions with a mix of sun and clouds. Also, rain chance staying very low for today, so it will remain a dry day. As we go into tonight, we'll have a few clouds around. Tonight's lows dropping into the upper 60s. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa on ESPN 106.3. Want to accelerate your career as a manager or executive in the exciting industry of sports? FAU's MBA program in sport management is ranked number one in Florida, 10th in the world. Students learn practical and applied skills from top faculty and experts who work in the industry. The full-time MBA program sets students up for success in the world of sports. Check out FAU Sport Management MBA program today, fau.edu slash MBA sport. We are proud of our parents. Want to know why? Because they work for the school district of Palm Beach County. There's lots of great jobs. With paid vacation, holidays off, health care, and retirement. You can be in the same schedule as your kids. Come work at the school district of Palm Beach County. You'll see why it's your best choice. Join us at the Team Palm Beach Schools Job Fair. Register at palmbeachschools.org slash job fair. That's palmbeachschools.org slash job fair. Looking for the perfect pre-owned Land Rover? Visit LandRoverPalmBeach.com and shop for the finest collection of Land Rover certified vehicles in Florida. Every certified pre-owned Land Rover vehicle is subjected to a rigorous 165-point inspection and is protected by up to either a one-year unlimited miles or two years 100,000 miles limited warranty and complimentary roadside assistance. Take advantage of 3.9% financing for up to 24 months on select Land Rover models. Call 561-209-7000 for more details today. LandRoverPalmBeach.com. Your home for the Miami Heat in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast is ESPN 106.3. Hi, I'm Michael Manzo, owner and founder of Manzo's Italian Deli. And I... Stop, Dad. After 20 years, people are tired of hearing your voice. Yeah, and your lame-ass commercials. Fresh prosciutto, mozzarella, outstanding. Oh, please. There's only one reason Manzo's has voted number one deli in Palm Beach County for 20 years. Our mother. She makes sure you prepare everything from scratch using only the freshest ingredients. Manzo's Italian Deli is located on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard right next to Rain Dancers. Is that a strip club? No, it's a steakhouse. Manzo's is open weekdays from 8 to 5 and offers free delivery. So stop by or call 697-9411. That's 697-9411. We also specialize in hot and cold catering for corporate functions and special events. Just ask anyone who was at my last birthday party. This summer in Paris, the world's best go for the gold. This summer in South Florida, get the gold. Plan, that is, from EDS Air Conditioning. Ken Levicka here, and as always, EDS is yes. EDS Air Conditioning, keeping your home cool. As a trained comfort specialist, it's hard to stop a train. With the EDS Gold Plan, you get numerous benefits, including two yearly tune-ups to keep your AC unit world-class. EDS is yes. EDSAirConditioning.com. Make your family and your nation proud. With the Gold Plan from EDS Air Conditioning. EDS is yes. EDSAirConditioning.com. From the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios, it's LaVeca, Theo, and Stone, presented by Hard Rock Bet, Florida's official sports book on ESPN 106.3. The FAU MBA Sport Management Program, fau.edu slash MBA Sport, the FAU MBA Sport Management Program, doing it since the year 2000. They are sending you to your dream job in the sports industry. They have the best connections, the best internships, the best curriculum. They're number one in the nation in postgraduate sport management degrees and number 10 in the world according to Sport Business. I guess what I'm trying to say is this is lofty, this is elite, this is what you should be doing to get into the sports industry. Get your post-management degree with the FAU MBA Sport Management Program, fau.edu slash MBA Sport. You can take classes on campus or online. And it's as simple as that, fau.edu slash MBA sport, the FAU MBA sport management program. Uh, we barely touched on Caleb Williams last week and this whole nail painting fiasco. 
that has blown up. It was really only a blip on my radar because I just thought that it would go away. Hey, the dude puts uh, fingernail polish on and goes about his day. Uh, But it's continued, and it's lingered, and it's annoying me. And let's get into a full-fledged dog bleep Monday here because this is going to be my submission. Um, dog You could pick. You could pick and choose anybody to aim this at. But I'm going to, you may have never heard of him, and I'm probably giving him more attention than he deserves because he is an abject pud. But this guy's name is David Hookstead, and he works for the cesspool that is OutKick. David Hookstead over the weekend proceeded to make eight minutes worth of videos where he whined and moaned and complained and gnashed his teeth over... Why aren't we allowed to criticize 22-year-old Caleb Williams? He's not a kid. We should be able to criticize him. We should be able to criticize him. He's not a kid. He's 22. And what he did is he invoked the memory of family members, his uncle, who fought in World War II and then fought and died fighting for our country in Korea. He was 22 years older when he went to World War II fighting for his country if, if my uncle could fight for our country at 22, then Caleb Williams, he should be open to criticism. Very apples and oranges, if I may say so myself. But here's, here's a little bit of, of David Hookstead getting really frustrated Athens and mad. are not special. They're not. I'm sorry if you need to hear that. They're not. Uh, they're human. And if you're an adult man in this, in this country, things are expected of you. Or at least they were expected of you. Maybe they're not expected of you anymore. This paint your fingernails. There's a great piece by Mark Harris on Outkick. We should not have to pretend like Caleb Williams' behavior is normal. It's not. And I'm not going to pretend like it's normal. And you shouldn't pretend like it's normal either. And we have to stop this. Oh, he's 20. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. Were the guys fighting in World War II just kids? Same age. Many of them younger. A lot of kids. A lot of kids. A lot of kids went to Japan and Europe never came home. Just kids, though, right? No criticism. Can't say, don't, don't. They were expected to go to war to free to free a continent of complete strangers. That's what was expected of them. But we can't expect Cale Williams to behave like an adult. Never mind the fact that that's just the dopiest approach to take to try and make your point on that. Being drafted to go fight for this country. <laughs> Applying for the draft. Is, is a law, and we appreciate their sacrifices and all of that. You're comparing wartime drafted into the military to someone coming out to the NFL draft. It's pretty clear to me that the problem isn't the, how, how, for this David Hookstead guy, it's clear to me the problem isn't, oh, everyone's trying to protect him. He's open to criticism. The problem is the nail polish. It's pretty clear to me that at the end of the day, the problem for this David Hookstead dope is that Caleb Williams wears nail polish. Just hear me out real quick, okay? I don't pretend to know the solution to what ails our society. What would help our country come together as one. We're very broken here. But here's a start. Mind your own damn business. Just one simple starting point. Mind your own damn business. Caleb Williams, put some nail polish on. So be it. Expresses himself like that. So be it. Mind your own damn business. And you know where the nail polish issue comes from? It's veiled homophobia. Let me ask someone like David Hookstead, what are you afraid of? What are you scared of? I actually can pinpoint what your issue is. You're insecure as hell. You see a man wearing nail polish who can throw a football 70 yards in the air, who's about to make generational wealth, who wears nail polish. That makes you feel insecure because you try to live by these manly ideals. And what are you? You're nothing compared to that guy. This Caleb Williams wears this nail polish, and he's way more desirable to the opposite sex than you are. That makes you insecure. 
For David Hookstead and those like him, mind your own damn business and work on yourself because it's clear you are the one with the issue. You have the gaping hole somewhere in your personality. You worried about Caleb Williams' nail polish? Mind your own damn business and think about how embarrassing it is to your family that you invoked your dead uncle who sacrificed himself for this nation in a discussion about nail polish on a 22-year-old. What a hack. Good. Nails are clear. Lips, lips are pink. You, your girl love them. Um, <laughs> no, dog there we, go. we can leave Sorry. it at that. We can leave it at that. I mean, do you? I think the nail polish stuff is stupid only because you're paying more money and having to keep on updating them. Like, I, haircuts well, are know, already too expensive you know why for he me. He does that, though. His mom's a nail tech. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, but it's talking, honoring his mom. It, it, I'm like, you adding another thing to the list of things you got to keep tidied up? Hey, power to you. But, you know, as a person that's married to a woman that gets her nails done like twice a month, that stuff starts adding up. I would not be adding anything more he's to the about, budget. He's about not have to worry about anything. Yeah, I know, I know. All right. He's I'm, in a little bit different tax bracket than you and me and Stone. I'm just saying, y'all see Caleb Williams doing it. Well, just know he has the affordability to keep that stuff up. Don't be out here if you're a dude paying your nails and then letting it grow out. And now you got to, you know, now you're looking jacked up. If you're going to be paying your nails, you got to commit to it. And it is That's expensive. That's a good point. Yeah. It, it ain't no chipping. It, you, can't it, be, you can't be chipping. I'm Don't a, be out here no. with sloppy nails. I'm no. a clear coat guy. Clear coat for sure. Yeah. You know what? That's a good point. It's the best of both worlds. <laughs> it is though. You get the nails done, you get them painted up, but also you're right. Nobody can notice the chipping or anything. How often do you get the manicures? Maybe once a month. Yeah, really? Really? You're always a good. month guy. A home station. I'm not going and paying the 25. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I get, I get the pedicures. But like when she's paying her nails at the crib, I give my toes the clear coat. Fingers. A, let yeah. me. I chew them up. So no thanks. Oh, good call. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. Okay. But like, it's okay to like the finer things in life, even oh, if it goes God. against the conventional norms. Like, pamper yourself, people. We haven't even mentioned Duke. You know, McCain. You ever mentioned oh, home, the dude. Home, homeboy who yeah, yeah and they he, got the nil and deal. And he got an nil deal yeah. over nail paint. You know what? Get your bag. <laughs> Sally has the bag too. Like, yeah. That's a I nice said, I ain't mad at the brother. I heard he's like a big TikTok star too. Like he it's is. like a, yeah. yeah. Well, now here's what I would say. I'm much more. Uh, I, I am much more amenable to the nail polish on him than I am his TikTok dances, and his TikTok <laughs> stuff. Sure. Like that, like TikTok. If this David Hookstead guy wanted to focus on the TikTok, yeah. all right, we got a discussion to have. <laughs> but nail polish, come on, who cares? Mind your own business. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. God, wouldn't that help things in society though if people just minded their damn business? Especially with something as small as that, I don't who get. Cares? I don't get it. Um, but again, people love to get up in an uproar. You know, people love to be able to just stand on something that feels like it can be contentious or different or going against the grain. The the eight minutes on Easter weekend you spent doing that. That's a lot. The coolest, think better. Yeah, the coolest takeaway I've gotten from all this, and I can, and can I think you can speak to this stronger than Theo and I can, is you know people talk about painting your nails, and now you're walking into one of the machoest cities in America, in Chicago, right? Well, we tend to forget, besides Michael Jordan, who was the most beloved and famous. <laughs> Athlete who, of all time. Who nobody would have the <laughs> right, guts to right. walk up to and say, hey, man, uh, you, you're, you're acting like a girl. Or saying, ho, oh, uh, hey, gay guy, Dennis, Dennis Rodman. Rodman. Dennis Rodman, punch Dennis you Rodman the showing up to a bookstore in a bride's gown, right. showing up with fingers painted and earrings and piercings, unspeakable places. Nobody would be walking up to him being like, oh, you're... You're a lesser man. You want to know why? He'd knock him out. <laughs> He'd rip the head off their right, shoulders. Right, exactly. In Chicago, in Chicago, Dennis yeah. Rodman, hey, that's just how he lived, and nobody said a damn thing about it. How about if you mind your own damn business? And Caleb Williams isn't even being performative like Dennis Rodman was. Caleb Williams is just exactly. living his life. Mind your own damn business. Yeah, yeah. Let that man live. And let that man throw that ball. Man. Wait till he wait till he get out there in Chicago. With it's the gonna be hilarious when he oh. with painted nails comes out and starts ripping up the Packers, and then we'll see what people have to say. That's all. Like I can't wait for it. Jordan I was very lukewarm on Caleb Williams. Now I'm in the Bears, Caleb Vikings, Williams. Caleb Williams, Sam Darnold. I'd watch that <laughs> ten times out of ten before I'd watch Kaylin Clark and Andrew Reese. I'm sorry. That's gonna be. I'm JJ not McCarthy. giving that game up. No, 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 you're, not giving, right, you're not giving that one up. Right. It's a good thing that's not Monday foo- uh, Monday night football. Uh, all right. Let's take a break. That's Theo. That's Stone. I'm Ken Levick at Theo and Stone ESPN 106.3. Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios. Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call one. 
1-800-747-FREE. This is ESPN 1063. Do you have an injury that keeps you from doing what you love? Don't put off seeing a doctor. Get ready to re-enter the game with the help of the old pro staff at Baptist Health Orthopedic Care. The doctors who care for Florida Atlantic University Athletics and the Florida Panthers. Contact Baptist Health Orthopedic Care by visiting baptisthealth.net slash orthocare and get back to doing the things you love. Doesn't it feel good to know you can go where the pros go? Have you been injured in a bicycle accident? The injuries can be devastating. Rubenstein Law has been representing accident victims for over 35 years. We're proud to have a fully English and Spanish-speaking firm with 20 offices in Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. We've recovered billions for our clients. If you or a loved one has been injured in a bicycle accident, call us now. Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, office in West Palm Beach. We're open on weekends, too. Improve your golf game fast at the all-new Kaiser University Golf Coaching Center. The Kaiser University Golf Coaching Center has the facilities, tools, and coaching you need. Enjoy the best facilities in the area with an expansive chipping and putting area, practice bunkers, a huge putting green, plus a 2,000-square-foot indoor training area with three hitting bays, cutting-edge analysis technology, and more. The Kaiser University Golf Coaching Center in the heart of Palm Beach County off I-95 in the Turnpike. Find out more at kaisergolfcenter.com. ESPN 1063. It's good for you. ESPN 1063 is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease, but it's probably true. Hi, this is Blaine Isbell, Corporate Vice President of Team IP. For over 30 years, Team IP has been a national leader in decorated apparel and promotional products. National corporate brands and 22 college bowl games, including the Boca Raton Bowl, make Team IP their partner of choice. Team IP, located right in our community in Stewart, is a proud partner of ESPN West Palm. Contact me anytime at 877-821-8643 or head to TeamIP.com and take the first step in making Team IP your team to boost your brand. Do you hear that sizzle? Listen closer to that freshly fried crab cake. Excite your senses during Seafood Fest with a limited time menu. Catch it while you can at Bud's Chicken and Seafood. Hi, Kevin Dalton here from the Unlimited Auto Wash. It's always a great day to get a wash and your car is dirty, but it might rain. No worries, we have our 72-hour rain check. For any reason, bring your car back for a free outside hand wash within 72 hours. Or join our unlimited club and receive unlimited hand washes inside and out with tire shine starting at $44.95 per month. Unlimited Auto Wash with seven locations. Visit unlimitedautowashclub.com or call 561-WASH-ME-2. PNC Bank is committed to making a difference in the South Florida community. That's why they offer military banking products, champion veteran-owned businesses, and provide support to local organizations that empower veterans and their families with the resources they need to succeed. PNC Bank. See how they can help you at pnc.com slash military. The PNC Financial Services Group, Incorporated, all rights reserved. PNC Bank, National Association, member FDIC. What up? This is Dean Thomas from Josh Cohen and the Home Team. And sometimes the daily grind of life can leave me feeling tired and drained. That's why I have Celsius with seven essential vitamins. Celsius is designed to optimize performance and give me the energy boost that I need. So whether I'm training athletes or I'm covering a UFC fight card, Celsius keeps me cool and refreshed. Get yours today. Celsius, essential energy drinks. There's never been a better time to upgrade to a new Kia with inventory levels the best they've been in years. And Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach is highly motivated to make deals that other dealers won't. Drive home a new 2024 Kia Forte for only $219 per month. 24-month lease with $27.99 due at signing. And all new Kias come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty. Unsure about your credit? Forget it. Get pre-qualified online without affecting your credit score at GreenwayKiaWestPalmBeach.com. Plus, they want your old car. Bring in any trade, get up to a $5,000 discount off any select new Kia stock. Only at Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach. Call 800 New Kias. Follow on Facebook or visit online at GreenwayKiaWestPalmBeach.com. We want to see you in a Greenway Kia. 
Qualified applicants through KMF, 10,000 miles per year. Security deposit waived plus tax tag and 999 admin fee. Negative equity refinance. Discount includes all factory rebates to dealer. Warranties, a limited powertrain warranty. See Kia.com for retailer for details. Offers don't combine. Expires 5524. From the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios, it's LaVica, Theo, and Stone. Presented by Hard Rock Bet, Florida's official sports book on ESPN 106.3. Hey, Elite Anti-Aging, just want to remind you, if you're getting up there in age, and I qualify as one of those people, I'm 39 going on 40, uh, you, you start feeling a little bit different, at least in my experience. I don't have as much um, inspiration to go to the gym. You still look great, baby. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. I still feel good that I wear the hat. I'm still going to get carded for a, for a bottle of wine when I take the hat off. Uh-oh. There's nothing. Uh, but, but you're feeling a little cloudy. You're tired. You're fatigued. I fall asleep in the recliner often at weird times of the day. That shouldn't be happening even if I am in my 40s, 50s, 60s. You can reverse this. You can feel like you did again in your 20s, but there's a good chance that these are all symptoms of a, a, a problem with your testosterone, low levels of a hormone imbalance. I've told you about it before. I'll say it again. Elite Anti-Aging Center. Elite Anti-Aging Center. Don't settle for, you're just getting old. EliteTRT.com. EliteTRT.com. That's Elite Anti-Aging Center. EliteTRT.com. Any of those things I mentioned, if you can relate, just reach out to them at EliteTRT.com, a consultation, and go from there. But take that step. Do something for you. Take that step. Elite Anti-Aging Center, EliteTRT.com. All right, so uh, what is uh, this girl's name at Dwyer High School? Four goals away from 100 Kelly. in lacrosse. Kelly. Kelly, she's four goals away. Kelly, here's my plea to you. Get your four goals so we can highlight you on ESPN West Palm yes. play and then let Theo get home so we can watch LSU in Iowa. Get them okay, early. Kelly, get them early so we can talk to you, we can praise you, we can cover it, and then Theo gets to go home and, and watch some women's ball. Let's ride. Enjoy the game Woo. tonight. We are all in. Myself, Theo, and Stone will talk about it tomorrow. Bye-bye. Cats fans, the Florida Panthers app is the brand new home for all things Panthers hockey. Download the Florida Panthers app today at floridapanthers.com and stay up to date on all the latest news, videos, stats, scores, sales, and so much more. Go Cats! Any business that wants to get to the top and stay there requires a dedicated team to implement a winning game plan. Eisner Amper seasoned professionals provide business advisory and consulting services such as audit, accounting, tax, HR, outsourcing, and more. Eisner Amper business advisors help clients transform their companies, build capital, innovate processes, and mitigate risk. For industry-specific strategies that meet your needs in South Florida, make Eisner Amper part of your solution. Visit EisnerAmper.com solution. Calling all sports fans, grab your MVP card and head to Duffy's where you can catch all of the action. Not an MVP? Sign up for free and start earning rewards today. Duffy's is voted the best sports grill year after year with their award-winning burgers and wings. Don't forget about Duffy's famous two-for-one drinks all day, every day. And with over 80 TVs in every location, you'll never miss a minute of the game. Visit Duffy'sMVP.com to learn more. Duffy's, our game is always on. Thank you for listening to ESPN 1063. I love you. Thank you for listening to ESPN 1063. I love you. Thank you for listening to ESPN 1063. I love you. Hey, it's Josh Cohen. When you are in need of any kind of auto repair, honesty and reliability are everything. Trust the home for honest, reliable service, St. Lucie Battery and Tire. Just like the name St. Lucie Battery and Tire has all tire and battery brands in stock for cars, trucks, RV, marine, power sport, even golf carts. Major and minor service repairs, free tire pressure, and free battery checks. St. Lucie Battery and Tire. Over 50 years in our community. 17 full service locations all the way from West Palm Beach to the Treasure Coast. Check them out at slbt.com. That's slbt.com. And Jorn Levine accident attorneys call 1 800 747 free. This is ESPN 1063 WUUB Jupiter, a good karma brand's radio station.